Sports. Receiver set for David Wright. Yellow Jackets looking at third and eight. Over the middle, trying to find Harris, and the penalty flag flies in on a little. They're going to they're gonna call pass interference. When he got a little bit dirty, he got that hand in there too early. Live sports. Thousands of live events. ESPN Plus Originals. I judge that whistled in the call. And I'm telling you, man, he was holding his hand for about five yards. I think he might have wanted to ask him to go to the movies or something, the way, the way he was holding his hand. Come on. They're going to call passing the friends on that one all day, every day. Kentucky State said earlier this week that they had to be sound and avoid penalties. They knew Allen would be a tough test for them with how prolific Allen's offense has been over the last few years, especially in conference play. Mm -hmm. So they knew they had to be sound and take away penalties. You were looking at third and eight there. Nearly had a stop. Have to take away those. First and ten, Allen. Hand off Riggins, and he is brought down for the loss. Monte Davis off the left side, the grad student out of Hampton, Georgia. Got to see this young man a couple of times at Dutchtown High School when he was in high school years ago. As a matter of fact, Dutchtown won a state championship. I think he may have been on that team. It was about five or six years ago. Big time player for Dutch, out of Dutchtown High School. Second and 14 now for Allen. Right over the middle is receiver Harris fell before the ball got there. It's incomplete. Yeah, that was one time where that turf monster jumped up and grabbed the leg on that one. Just got to be a little bit more careful. Plant your feet just a little bit better when you're coming out of those cuts on the turf. You know, he was looking for a pass interference, but you're not going to get that. It's a college ball. Allen working without one of their top receivers tonight mm -hmm. in Jamal Jones, who... Uh, Reeled in over 350 yards a season ago. A couple scores to go along with it. Out tonight with an ankle injury. Coach Keaton was telling us earlier tonight. It was a game-time decision. Decided to hold him out. He should be back next week. Wright has plenty of time. Looks down the left side for Wilson. It's nearly hauled in. And you can see the disappointment on Kenny Wilson's face. It went in and out of his fingertips. I'm telling you, it hit him in the worst place possible. Right in the hands, right? Hit him in the hands. <laughs> hit him in the hands. And look at this. And I think the DB actually knocked it in his hands. Take a look at this. See if the DB, yep, DB got his hand on it. Oh, that's the old tip drill. That's the tip drill right there. Where's Nelly at when you need him? <laughs> punt team <laughs> on for the Yellow Jackets. Wilkins back to punt. Now I have to keep in mind the last time that Kentucky State dropped back to receive a punt. Jude Santana took it to the house for the touchdown. Meanwhile, Santana lets this one bounce. And it is a big Allen bounce all the way back inside the 20. And, and that's a bad decision right there by Santana. Santana has to catch that one and stop that. That, that may be a touchback because he did not have possession of that. And he actually knocked it into the end zone. Referees are having a little bit of a conference because if you have to if you're going to down the ball you actually have to stop the ball so the referees are having a discussion on that one right there that may be a touchback i'm not i'm not quite sure we'll see what they say because he basically just touched the ball let's see if the referee what they do tried to haul in the possession up oh, a touchback that is a touchback so we will see Kentucky State's offense when we come back of a brand new ball game here in Columbia, all tied at seven with Allen and Kentucky State. It's the SAC on ESPN Plus.
Back in Columbia for a tied ball game here in the first quarter. Just over two minutes left. And Kentucky State Allen all knotted up at seven apiece. Kate Crenshaw, Sylvester Williams, Simone Stanley with you on this Saturday night. And Sylvester, so far here in the first quarter, Kentucky State has seven points, but they only have nine yards of total offense. The difference maker, a 55-yard punt return from Jude Santana. What will it take for Kentucky State's offense to find its rhythm? Well, here's the thing. is This air raid offense, you know, is predicated on passing the ball. So now you need to get your quarterback, Perez, some comfortable passes. Ooh. And Perez <laughs> never saw the blitz. He is brought down in the backfield. A big-time drop from Cam Scott off the edge. The junior out of Davenport, Florida. And see, right there, if you notice on that play, the wide receiver pointed to the outside backer. The wide receiver did his job, and he said the outside backer was coming in. Now, you're up back, you're a halfback, and your quarterback. They have to know that the blitz is coming and step up and do something about it. Loss of 11 on the play. Penalty flags fly in. You know, I'm not sure if they're going to call offsides or movement on the offensive line, but if we go back to that previous play, the wide receiver did a great job of pointing. Look at the wide receiver. He points. He says the blitz is coming. Now, that up back, he has to recognize the blitz is coming and step out there and pick up the blitz. That's just pre-snap communication. And one person can do their job, but if somebody else doesn't do their job, you get an eight-yard loss. Looking at second and 19. That takes Kentucky State's offense into the negative for total yards, trying to build some back across the left side. The Donovan Journey, sophomore out of Buford, Georgia. You know, here's the interesting thing about the air raid offense. Everyone sees the passing numbers and they see those gaudy stats. But in order for you to get those gaudy stats, you have to put some runs in there. You have to mix up some runs so those DBs just aren't playing back. And one thing Kentucky State has to do, they have not been successful at all with the ball on the ground. Allen has sacked Christian Perez three times today. Perez gets the ball loose, left side, tipped up, and it is incomplete. Khalil Wilkins nearly had his second interception of the season. And, you know, we don't often mention the defensive coordinator's name, but when you have a legend like Coach Cole over on the sideline, you see a legend at work. The way he's sending those that outside blitz in, and they're timing that outside blitz so perfectly, they'll have that, that nickelback lined up on the, on the slot receiver, and he's coming in perfectly. And he's not necessarily making the play, but he's causing the play. Felton Huggins, Jr., first-year head coach at Kentucky State, was just telling us earlier this week, Sylvester, he calls L.C. Cole mm. a living legend. We're going to see a big-time block in the back here from Kevin Graham. That will bring the return back even further from Allen. That's an easy call for the referee to make. That's not even a difficult call to make. Sometimes you just have to pull up. You cannot hit the man in the back. Look at this. Look how he's lined up. He sees that pancake block coming, but, mm, oh, well, no. Oh, wait a minute. He did hit him in the side. I don't know about that. Let's take a look at that replay. Let's see. Did he get him in the side? First glance, you see Kevin Graham going mm, shoulder to shoulder there. I don't know. That might not have been a penalty. That might have been a good block. Oh, I hate this rule. I, I, I hate I, Kate, 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 this is getting this is getting the old linebacker revved up right here. I'm, oh, I'm getting revved up. I hate this call. I understand why it's in the books. I understand why they make this call, but that that's a sports center hit right there. That's the hit that's supposed to lead sports center. That's not supposed to be a penalty. But due to rules changing. And you have to play within the rules. If it's, a, if it's a rule, you have to play within that rule. And it's an illegal blindside block is the call. I do not like it. Well, Allen will set up this drive back inside their 20. Ball spotted at the Allen 18. Tied at 7 with 43 seconds left in the first quarter. Handoff to Bo Harrington up the gut. Pick up of four yards, it brings up second and six. 
And, you know, I like what they're calling it here at Allen. They're just running everything between the tackles. I don't think they've ran a sweep one time yet. Everything is between the tackles, straight ahead. And basically when you run straight ahead, your, your offensive line is looking at their defensive line and saying, hey, we're better than you. Allen now at 45 yards rushing, 66 passing in the first quarter. Second and six. Back to Harrington, just trying, trying to find room around the left side. Gets up across the chains. It's that shiftiness in his game that Teddy Keaton raved about to us all week long was just how quick Bo Harrington can be, and he uses the juke move there to move the sticks. You know, he's one of those shifty, shifty, nifty guys, one of those guys if you play two-hand touch with him in a phone booth, you might can't tag him. He's that shifty and that quick. That takes us to the end of the first. A punt return from Kentucky State, a passing touchdown for Allen. Has us knotted up at seven apiece on ESPN+. Plus. Back here in Columbia to start the second quarter tonight, it's the SIEC on ESPN Plus with Allen and Kentucky State all knotted up at seven apiece. Allen, a touchdown catch for DeAndre Ruffin. Meanwhile, Kentucky State, it was Jude Santana taking it 55 yards to the house on a punt return. First and 10, Yellow Jackets inside their own 30, right a deep ball for Ruffin, overthrows him, and it's picked off. Malik Okure with the interception. And if Kentucky State's looking to set a tone in the second quarter, you can start with a takeaway. I think we might have a, oh, yep, going to be a holding call. But look at the pressure up front. 
the pressure up front right here from the Kentucky State defensive line. Their strength is in pass rushing up front. And look how he just goes through the line, and I think he may have got a hand on that one. I will say this a million times. I've had coaches tell me, you don't have to make the tackle, but you have to make the play. And the defensive tackle did a great job of making the play by getting back there, getting his hand in that quarterback fa face, changing the angle of the pass. He made him overthrow it. Now he got an interception. Now, let's see if they go downfield. David uh, Wright doesn't make too many mistakes. His first interception thrown since 2021. Perez handoff to the left side, trying to create some room and find a space is LaVale Hill. But no gain on the play. It's second and ten. I tell you, I tell you, man, that, that's one of those things. It, it drives me wild. I tell you, I'm going to tell you a million times, I am a old riverboat gambler. <laughs> Anytime I have a turnover, I want to see you go downfield. I want to see a play action and go downfield. No one to hold them, no one to fold them, right? Hey. <laughs> man in motion, screen out to the right side for Armstead, his first catch of the day. Gets back to the line of scrimmage. But upcoming, it's third and ten. Kentucky State yet to move the ball forward. Still sit, sitting and looking at negative total offensive yards here in the first half. You know, it, it, you got to watch Lavelle Hill on that play right there. Hill has to make that block. It's one person for him to block to bust that play open so that play can go wide open. He has to do a better job of picking up the block. You know, if it was in high school, I'm calling my high school games on Friday night, I wouldn't have said his name. But he's in college now. He's a big boy. Call his name. I got to call him out on that one. Three receivers left side, one to the right. Perez over the middle. It's caught. Samuel Mono reels in his first grab tonight. He nearly gets up to the first down marker. Going to be looking at fourth and one from the 46. Sylvester, Kentucky State keeping the offense on the field here. Do you like this aggressiveness as Allen takes a timeout? You know, for, you know, fourth and one, your offense seems to – your offense seems to be moving. Why not go for it? Timeout. Allen will take it with him. 13 minutes left here in the first half. We're all tied at 7. Allen and Kentucky State facing off an SIC action right here on ESPN+. Plus. What are you guys doing? Learning that HBCUs are not only about networking. There's also secret handshakes. That's cap. HBCUs do not have secret handshakes, right? I mean, this secret handshake... Cool. Wow, these guys are almost Cricket 5G fast. We're kidding. There's no such thing as a secret handshake. Or is there? Whoa, that's how you do it. With Academy Sports and Outdoors, you can take outdoor fun to a whole new level with just the touch of a button because there's so much to discover on the Academy app. Create your dream outdoor living space that gets the whole family out there spending time together. Master new recipes with just the right amount of heat and the perfect spice or seasoning. And give the kids even more ways to play. Great times are waiting. Download the Academy Sports and Outdoors app today. HBCUs are anchored by legacy. They nurture the talent and determination of their students and prepare them for a bright future. The Home Depot's Retool Your School program has and still believes in the excellence of HBCUs. Committed not just in speech, but through the revitalization and upgrades of the campuses these students call home. Building, planting, tilling the dream, all hearts and countless volunteers on the ground. Retool Your School. We're powered by purpose. in Columbia, Kentucky State trying to go for it on fourth and short with a fake punt and did not get it. Was coming right up against it, a short snap. The Kentucky State tried to do a little trickery to extend the drive and said Allen will take 
Kick over first and 10 at the 46. Let's check in with our Simone Stanley down the sidelines. Simone? Guys, G James Edmonds, Kentucky State defensive end, has been talking to the ref multiple times about being held. So we can continue to see if, if that's the way Allen is planning to contain him. Jimmy Edmonds is a player who draws double teams, even triple teams. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when you take a look at the film, Allen so far has contained him in the pass rush. Handoff Bo Harrington trying to spin out of a tackle. Gets up to the 44, a pickup of two. And you know right now what Allen's been doing. Allen's been running the ball directly at Kentucky State. And so Kentucky State, they have to get tougher up front. And it's a great, great just look to see them hold for just a one-yard gain on that play. They have to get tougher up front. Penalty flag flies in before the play. It's a false start against Allen. Or rely on a couple of uh, false starts. You know, anytime you feel some momentum shift in this game, each team getting a takeaway here, a takeaway there, neither offense has been able to capitalize. In fact, they've either moved backwards or been unable to move the sticks. Exactly. And you have to capitalize on mistakes. You have to make something happen. Kentucky State just had an interception, and then they went with a three and out. Well, a four and out. Got to make something happen off those turnovers. Three receivers left. DeAndre Ruffin in single coverage to the right side. Blitz coming from Kentucky State. Wright initially escapes, is able to dump it off to Harrington. But still a tremendous loss for Allen on what was already second and 13. You know, here's a dangerous play right here by Wright. Wright trying to make something out of nothing by dropping it off to his running back. Dangerous play. You know, a lot of kids, they watch Pat Mahomes and they think they can do what Mahomes does. But, but it's a reason Mahomes is getting half a billion dollars. It's amazing how players like Patrick Mahomes has changed the NFL. Stephen Curry has changed the NBA to a, a three-point league and changed the world of basketball to a three-point league. Right screen to Bo Harrington, but Kentucky State is not not fooled a pair of defenders in on the stop leading the charge is Theron Foreman the senior linebacker I'm telling you you look at this play right here and that is how a linebacker reads a play right here straight out of Lucy C. Laney High School I love that high school see how he reads it recognize the screen dips between the two offensive linemen and makes the tackle on the screen that is a perfect read by a middle linebacker Allen gets the fourth down stop near midfield, but only moves oh. 10 yards in the wrong direction. The punt is blocked. Kentucky State trying to pick it up. And into the end zone goes Dontavius Brodax. Touchdown, Thoroughbreds. Scoop and score off the block punt. Look at it in the right place at time. Brodnax, hey, you'll get that touchdown. <laughs> Two special teams play for Kentucky. Oh, my. A blocked punt. It was in on the stop. Was a big-time block there for Kentucky State. And then picking it up was Brodnax as he took to the house. Trayvon Pope was the one to get the initial block. And here's the thing. We always let everyone know it is three phases to this game. Offense, defense, and speed. Special teams. Well, we will take a quick break here from Columbia. Kentucky State takes a 14-7 lead on a blocked punt return for a touchdown. It's the SAC here on ESPN+. Plus.
we came into this one expecting two high-powered air raid offenses. Both coaches spoke all week long about how improved their defenses were, but the difference maker in this one tonight has been the play of the special teams unit for Kentucky State. A punt return touchdown and a blocked punt scoop and score for the thoroughbreds as Kentucky State ahead of Allen. 14 to 7. Special teams, sometimes an overlooked part of the game, Sylvester, but it's leading the way for Kentucky State tonight. You know, it's interesting, man. It's the third, it's the third wheel on this car that makes uh that makes your team go around. Oh, look at that. Kenny Wilson spins out of a tackle, sidesteps the defender before he's finally brought down up near the 21. <laughs> if you look at this, man, just a Shifty and elusive guy, man. You got to put a shoulder pad and wrap up on this guy. Look at this juke move right here. True freshman Wilson out of Tampa, Florida. Player the coaching staff really excited about, especially with an older receiving core that he can learn under. Guys like the grad student DeAndre Ruffin, junior receivers and Jamal Jones, third-year receiver Armand Harris, a redshirt sophomore as well. Montreal White, senior guy on the receiving core. Trying to find DeAndre Ruffin on a quick strike and complete. That's one of those. He just gunned it in there. See, what you want out of right on that play, set your feet, take your time. Because he had plenty of time to throw it. But what happens when you have a defensive line that puts pressure on the quarterback? It gets you a little bit anxious. See, right here, he has plenty of time to throw a good strike, and he just bounced it. He threw a, a one-hopper. Second and ten, jet sweep for Wilson, who just had the nice kick return, but he will pick up no yards on the play. Bryce Bobby Hayes trying to appeal his case. He came up with the football, but Wilson ruled down at the 21. You know, I, I talked all broadcast about just being tough. And one thing I like what Kentucky State is doing, they got punched in the mouth to start the game off, but now it seems like that defensive front has just gotten tougher these last couple of drives. Third and long for Allen, now in a deficit. Four-man rush, right hit as he throws, looking down the right side for Harris. It's incomplete, and the punt team will step on for the Yellow Jackets. And that's one of those ones when Wright watches this game on film tomorrow. He's going to, oh, he's going to, he's going to groan when he sees that because his receiver had a step on a man. He just didn't quite have the touch that he needed on that pass. It was there. You just got to have that touch and drop it in in the right place, and he just overthrew him. Oh. Looking for Armand Harris, just about five yards too much on the throw from right. Wilkins back to punt it away for the Yellow Jackets, have one blocked moments ago for a touchdown. Hmm. Now it's back for June Santana, and he drops the football, picks it back up, and now looks to work the left side. Cross the 50. Brought down in Allen territory right around the 47. You know, one thing you could say about Kentucky State, they learn from their mistakes. If you look at some of the open field blocks that Kentucky State did, look how they kind of avoid getting those knockdown blocks, getting those what they call a legal blindside block. Look at look at them. Well, not that one. He kind of pulled up. You see, 26 pulls up right there. Oh, got away with a clip on that one. <laughs> look at the next guy. Kind of pulls up. Doesn't hit him. Hey, you learn from your mistakes. You learn from your mistakes right there. Good job by Kentucky State, that punt return team of learning. Kentucky State's offense back on the field, looking to score their first offensive touchdown of the day. So far, it has been all special teams for the Thoroughbreds. Perez, handoff up the middle, trying to find some room to work is Donovan Journey, but nowhere to go, no gain on the play. Yeah, nowhere to go, nowhere to go at all. Just a great job by the defensive line, and those linebackers are closing up the gaps. Once you close up the gaps up front, not much you can do if you're a running back. I think if you told both of these coaching staffs with less than 10 minutes to play in the first half, the Kentucky State's offense would have three total yards. Well, from Allen's perspective, they'd be very pleased with that, an offense that can find yards and put up points quickly. Uh, trying to convert into the air raid offense. If you told them, hey, you've only given up three yards to Kentucky State, Allen defensively probably pretty well pleased. Meanwhile, if you told Kentucky State's offensive coach that, like Felton Huggins Jr., the head coach and offensive coordinator, he'd, he'd be 
very frustrated with that. He'd be extremely worried, yet his team has a lead. It is funny how the ball bounces on this football field. That's why the ball isn't in a circle. It's oblong. It bounces very, very funny in this football game. 14-7 Kentucky State. Clock coming up on nine minutes to play in the first half. Third and long for Christian Perez, the graduate quarterback. Pocket collapses, trying to escape, and he is brought down in the backfield. Coming up and making a play in crunch time is Jaheim Borden, the true freshman nose guard out of Tampa, Florida. You know, that Tampa area is big here for uh, for. Allen. It seems like they had a lot of young men from that Tampa area making things happen. And good job by the big defensive tackle to get in there and get a sack. And Allen, a team, head coach Teddy Keaton has repeatedly gone back to the panhandle of the Sunshine State for talent. You look all across the board for Allen. Sylvester, you said it. Quarterbacks, receivers, running backs, linemen, Defensive playmakers have all come out of Florida. We know how rich the recruiting world is there. Oh, yeah, a lot of talent down there in Florida. And this is one thing, Allen, they won't, they won't like it, but their sister school, Edward Waters, down there, they're trying to get some of that talent, too. They're trying to make sure that talent doesn't lead the state. But, hey, man, it is it is so many great athletes down there in Florida. You, you can't go wrong recruiting the, all those great, great guys down there in Florida. And here's how an offside penalty changes things. What was 4th and 15 and had the punt team on for Kentucky State is now 4th and 10, and the offense is back on the field. Ball spotted at the 48, and Allen will call a timeout with its defense having to rush on the field quickly. Didn't really have time to get set and recognize how they should play against this Kentucky State offense. Looking to go for it. 4th and 10. Sylvester, if you're Kentucky State, like we say, it looks like they're going to keep the offense on the field even after the timeout. What plays are you looking for fourth and ten near midfield? See, right here, fourth and ten, what I'm looking for, I want to give the hard count one more time. They have enough time. With Academy Sports and Outdoors, you can take outdoor fun to a whole new level with just the touch of a button because there's so much to discover on the Academy app. Create your dream outdoor living space that gets the whole family out there spending time together. Master new recipes with just the right amount of heat and the perfect spice or seasoning. And give the kids even more ways to play. Great times are waiting. Download the Academy Sports and Outdoors app today. Did you know HBCUs are a great place to network? Yes! Did you know Cricket has a great network with speedy 5G and is a proud supporter of HBCUs? Yes! yes. Mia, everybody already knows that. <laughs> Dante, did you know this is an A and B conversation? So you need to see yourself at. He knows now. And 10, and when we stepped away, Kentucky State had its offense on the field, but the ball spot at the 48 yard line of Allen. Thoroughbreds have brought the punt team back on. Booting it away is Javon Ricks.
Kenny Wilson lets it take a hop and takes an Allen bounce back towards the 20 yard line. As Kentucky State cannot capitalize on the turnover from the Yellow Jackets, and that's just been the tail of the tape tonight, Sylvester. It's each of these two teams have gotten momentum swings in their direction, but neither of them have been able to build onto it. And this is the thing about this game, man. You have to take advantage when the situation allows you to. If something comes up, you have to use it to your full advantage. And that's what's hurting both of these teams right now. When they have these turnovers, the offense has to do something special. Or they have a four and out or a three and out. The offense has to back up that defense and do something special for them to reward them for the great special play. First and 10, Allen back at their own 18, trying to continue attacking the run game. This time it's Harrington up the middle. And for Allen, a team coming in had averaged over 270 through the air, but also 200 on the ground. And a little bit of that 200 on the ground is offset. Week one, they took on Erskine out of the sack and only amassed 60 yards of rushing, 65 yards of rushing. Week two, you take on Columbus State, a non-NCAA participant, and you rack up 366 on the ground. Right looking to pass. Over the middle, penalty flag flies in, trying to find Armand Harris in triple coverage. But we'll see how the penalty flag impacts the play. You know, the one thing I would love to see David Wright work on, he locked, he has a habit of locking on one receiver, and that's where I'm going. You see that hold in the middle of the field right there. They're going to call defensive holding. On that play, you had a linebacker trying to guard a receiver, and receiver just a little bit too fast for him. So what he did, he reached out there and grabbed a hold of the receiver. But one thing I want David Wright to do, I want him to do a better job of going to that secondary read. Because once he locks onto that receiver, throwing that deep ball on that route, he threw it in the triple coverage. It just wasn't a, a very smart pass play. You have to, if that first guy isn't there, let's go to the second guy. Let's check down. Keep checking down. So you find maybe a running back. Allen, 58 yards through the air, 49 on the ground here in the first half. First and 10, quick strike to the left side for Wilson. Tries to spin up a tackle at the 35. That splits the sticks, second and five upcoming. You know, I like that play calling right there. When your quarterback's going downfield and is not very successful going downfield, Throw something nice and easy so you can get your quarterback some confidence. Get, get them to build on something, and that's a nice, easy pass to the outside. Allen trying to score before the break. Allen will get the football to start the third quarter. Kenny Wilson hit hard around the 42, was able to stay on his feet and get up to the 45, and that's of the utmost importance. Line to gain was the 44. Wilson gets to the 45. Drive stays alive. Look at Amon Harris on the outside on that play. Amon Harris did a great job of blocking the DB and allowing Wilson to get that first down. Three receivers left side. Right looks that way. Now his pocket has collapsed. Finds Ruffin near the 50. And he'll tiptoe out of bounds right at midfield. That's exactly what I want out of right. Wright did not have his first option. He did not force it to his first option. What he did, he checked down and he looked. He came back across to the other side of the field and found his receiver on this side of the field. Great job of checking down and just not locking on to that first option. Defensive holding the call in the second year against the nickel, Trey Blackman. A penalty that will help Allen in a tremendous way. Was on first down, but will give them first down now in Kentucky State territory at the 46. Allen looking to score for the first time since the eight-minute mark in the first quarter. Right found DeAndre Ruffin for 18 yards through the air. Mm. Out to the right side, trying to create some space and room as Jalen Faison caught, but just a gain of a yard on the play. I love it when your DB can break on the ball. DB gets out of his back pedal and then just comes up and delivers the lick on the receiver. See, on this play right here, you just want your – ah, that was a missed assignment right there. Your, your inside slot guy has to block that cornerback. Riggins with some room to work. A pickup of nine on the play for the freshman tailback. 
right along the first down marker. It seems like every time Alan Riggins touches the ball, Sylvester, the chain crew has to take a few extra steps. I'm telling you, man, he's an explosive back. I love how he hits the hole, and he hits the hole hard. And this is what you want out of your running back. Your running back has to hit that hole hard and then explode through the line. First and 10, Allen at the 36. Three receivers right side for David Wright the third. Drop the snap, and he's swarmed in the backfield. Good job by Wright of just holding on to that ball and falling down, not, you know, taking a loss but not turning it over. Let's see what happened. Did, did he just miss the snap? Oh, it was a little bit low, a little bit low, but he, has to, he, he still has to catch it. Even if he had caught it, you could see the pressure was coming. Theron Foreman just seemed unblocked. The linebacker bursting through the middle. Now second and five, right rolls to his left. Points deep down the field. His pass will be incomplete looking for Montreal right back near the 20. You know, you have a right-hand quarterback kind of rolling to his left. That's a hard pass to make. But what happens, I think he had enough time. And see, here's the thing about you young quarterbacks. Young quarterbacks, if you're watching this game, you have to realize how much time you have. You can set your feet and throw that ball. That, run, that our def, defensive our lineman, he was still about three or four yards away. You have enough time to set your feet and make a good pass. Third long for Allen. Whistles blow at the snap. Timeout, Kentucky State. Yeah, I think Coach Huggins, his staff over there, saw something that, that they didn't like in that formation. The way Allen was lined up, it kind of had a mismatch. It was unbalanced over here on this side of the field. So it's a good job of calling the timeout. I, I don't think he had the right personnel in the game. First time out of the half for Kentucky State. Sylvester, we take a look at this Allen offense. Scoring on their first drive of the night, took it straight down the field for finding DeAndre Ruffin from 18 yards out for the early touchdown. But since they've struggled to move the ball, mm -hmm. has there been a major adjustment from Kentucky State's defense that's hindered the Yellow Jackets? Well, I just think they, they did what we like to call man up. And, you know, and basically that's what happened. That first drive, Allen literally punched Kentucky State in the mouth. <laughs> And it sounds violent, it sounds tough, but this is a violent and tough game that we play. And what happened, Allen was more violent and tough on that first drive. But Kentucky State, they manned up. They got tough, and they cut off all of those inside runs from Allen. And that's why that offense has been real stagnant right now. Third and 14 for the Yellow Jackets at the Kentucky State 40. Four receivers set for David Wright the third. Kentucky State brings three. Drops back into coverage, looking over the middle, incomplete, trying to find Donnie Chapel in the end zone. A sophomore receiver, but was in triple coverage. The ball was a little bit underthrown. Wright has to scan the field better. Look on the outside. There's man-on-man -man press coverage on the outside, and look how the receiver beats his man on the outside off of the first step. Look, he's gone. There's no safety over the top on that side. You have to see that. If you're the quarterback, he was wide open on the other side of the field. If you're the quarterback, you have to see that press coverage, and you have to know where that safety is. That's how you make your read. It's a, it's a couple of uh, tiers to that read. Allen's offense stay on the field, but David Wright, the quarterback, drops in a punt, and it takes a big Allen bounce, and it is down at the one. So a little trickery on Allen's side of things. Just David Wright dropping in the punt. And hey, if, if he decides to ever move away from quarterback, the punting <laughs> job may be his. I tell you, he has a new career if, if he <laughs> wants to kick, man. That little nice quick kick right there on the punt. I like I like that play. I, I, I really like that play. I like the play call, the creativity to put that little quick kick because nobody's expecting it right now. You're expecting your quarterback to try to go for that first down down by seven. Now it's a great field position move. You, you have the ball. They have 99 yards to go. So now those defensive linemen, they can kind of stick their, their tails high up in the air, and, you know, get, pin those ears back and try to get to the quarterback. Now I would love to see Kentucky State run a delayed handoff, run a draw right here. Try to catch those defensive linemen sneaking in while they're going under center. Perez just keeping it himself, trying to get it out of the end zone. Picks up a yard up to the two. See if they can get a little bit of room to work. Yep, a helmet came off. So, yeah, I think they're going to have to switch somebody out the game. Oh, yeah. 
his helmet came off, once again, you're bringing in the backup quarterback. And my philosophy is anytime you have the backup quarterback in there, let's send pressure. Let's send everybody. I'm going to – he's going to make me he's, – he's going to have to show me he deserves to be a starter. Oh, great, great hard And count. looking to pass, penalty flag is in. It's intercepted by Allen. Sherrod Simmons across the five in, into the end zone. Touchdown Yellow Jackets, but a penalty flag, multiple flags are on the field. This one most likely coming back as Allen jumped early. Yeah, I think it was a free play, so all those other penalty flags don't count. But I think every ref on the field threw out his flag. There's nothing left. Oh, yeah, there's your jump right there. There's your hard count. And it's a free play, so it's a free play, so your quarterback knows it's a free play, so he just tries to go downfield. Now, just because it's a free play, that doesn't mean just throw it away, though. I don't know. Oh, you had him. Yeah, there was your pass interference over there. He didn't fall on his own. It was a little bit of pass. Oh, and then you got your late block in the end. There's your blindside block in the end. Oh. It's a whole lot of choices of penalties that the referees can choose from Just on that play. Open the rule book and <laughs> throw a dart on the wall as to which one you're going to take. <laughs> oh, Allen, my goodness. Allen would have had, had the tying score had it not been for all the dirty laundry on the field. Multiple bad mistakes happened on that play from all parties involved. But it, the way it looked like Denham Johnson was trying to find Jude Santana along the hashes and it looked like Santana had actually been tripped up maybe a little interference there mm -hmm. and here's the referee's call <laughs> multiple fouls Well, there you have it. I mentioned that there might have been some interference. <laughs> we mentioned Santana was tripped up, mm -hmm. and that is the penalty that goes in the books. But, Sylvester, you went three for three on that one. You got 100% on that quiz. I'll tell you, man, hey, I've been around here for a little while. <laughs> I've been on. Yeah. He didn't, he didn't even clip him. He just pushed him. <laughs> Gave him. Well, now out of their own end zone. It's first and 10, Kentucky State up at the 18. Pass out of the right side. Caught in the flats. That's Donovan Journey out of the backfield. Picks up a yard. Not much more. You know, and that's one of those just nice and easy passes to kind of get your quarterback some confidence. But you have to make one man miss. That's what you want out of, out of your wide receiver. You've got to make at least one man miss. Two receivers left side, one to the right for the graduate quarterback, Christian Perez, who has been a journeyman of a college career. Committed initially to Navy out of East St. Louis, Illinois. So, Heads to the Naval Academy, then ends up at University of Louisville, Power 5 program as a walk-on. Spends one season there and finds Kiki McFadden across the 25, his first catch today for the Eastern Kentucky transfer. But back to Perez, a guy who ends up at Southeastern Missouri, spends two years there, and only appears in three games, was limited to a knee injury that took a big toll on him and sat out a good bulk of time and was trying to find some place to play two more years of college ball. And In his own words, he wants a redemption store, and he's trying to find that in Frankfort, Kentucky. Hand off to the left side. And a penalty flag is in for some extracurriculars after the play on what was a third and short stop. See, see he, here's... I can say this because they're college kids and they are in high school kids. This is stupidity. Right here. You had a huge, a huge third down stop, and now you're letting your emotions get the best of you. You're letting your emotions. This is an emotional game. Oh, yeah. Well, well, yeah. Well, okay. Well, yeah. All right. 
maybe I understand a little bit, but still, you cannot let your emotions get the best of you. That, you, you know, that's that's a good call by the official. So it's offsetting penalties on that play. Offsetting penalties on that play, so it's going to still be fourth down. But you cannot let your emotions get the best of you. This is a thinking man's game. You have to be, you have to outthink your opponent sometimes. Sure, it's great to be six foot five and run a 4 two forty. That helps. Don't get me wrong. But you still have to be smarter than the guy in front of you. Punt team on for Kentucky State. Kevin Graham back to return for Allen. Graham retreats, and he'll let it take a bounce. And a big Kentucky State bounce over 15 extra yards on the punt as it rolls inside the 20 for the thoroughbreds. You, you got a fair catch that one. This is a field position game. Your offense can't move the ball. Um, your defense is doing a great job of holding. Step up and fair catch the ball, young man. Help your team out. You got to help your team out. You know, these are some of the frustrations, you know, you have with these kids. Man, I'm, I'm an older guy, man. I've been around for a while. So it's easy for me to say these things when I'm up here in the booth. <laughs> And nobody's running after me. <laughs> hey, it's that old school mentality that you still see a lot on coaching staffs with a lot of coaches who come from that same era of the old school thing. We talked about L.C. Cole a little bit ago, who guy who's been around the block for so many years now. Here's a pick. It's Broadnax to the end zone. Touchdown, Kentucky State. Broadnax with his second score of the afternoon returned a block punt back in the first quarter. He takes a pick six to pay dirt here in the second. Look at this play. This makes an old linebacker happy right here. Look at him drop into his girl, come up underneath, pick it, and to the house. The only thing that's going to stop him is the field house behind the back of the end zone. Beautiful play by Broadnecks. That is what every outside linebacker, linebacker, that is what we all dream about. They get a beautiful, easy pick six just like that. Beautiful play by that young man. A tone-setting momentum shifter with less than two minutes before halftime as Malik puts the extra point through the uprights, and Kentucky State has suddenly taken a 21-7 lead over Allen. Look at this play. Look at him drop back into his, his, his defensive curl zone, come underneath, caught it with two hands, tuck it, Go on and walk into the end zone, young man. It doesn't get much better than that right there. You talk about how Kentucky State knew coming into this game that they were going to have to capitalize on Allen mistakes. When you look at David Wright, the third, the redshirt sophomore quarterback hailed by so many coaches in this league as one of the league's best QBs. Tonight throwing now two interceptions. He hadn't thrown a pick since 2021 coming into tonight. I tell you, man, he you know he he's been on he's been on the money, but one thing I'm noticing about this young man, he is locking down on that first option. And in order for you to be a great quarterback, you cannot settle on that first option. It's like the dating world. <laughs> so sometimes you can't settle on the first option. Sometimes you gotta hey, don't tell my wife I said this. <laughs> Baby, you were the first option. You were the first and only option. Of course, right? There you go. But for everybody else, sometimes you got to look at the second option. 21-7 Kentucky State. Low line drive kick. Picked up. And looking for a return for Allen was Russell Stroud up to the 35-yard line. And Allen has less than two minutes to work with here. Of course, they're Looking for the end zone, Sylvester, what can get him there? You know, right now, right now, the Kentucky State defense, they are prime. That defensive line, I know they're ready, they're excited, they're moving. I would love to see screen underneath. Take advantage of the fact that they're coming after you full speed. Let's run a screen underneath and see what happens. Right, dropping back to pass, finds Harrington out of the backfield across the 40. He'll get out of bounds, and important to know we're inside of two minutes now towards the end of the first half. The clock will not only stop, of course, when players go out of bounds, but will also stop on first downs. Mm -hmm. and, and one thing about running this air, air raid, high-speed offense, you're used to that two-minute offense because that's what you run normally. Now you're just turning it up one little notch on the dial. Second and four for Allen at the 41. 
Three-man rush caught over the middle. It's Montrell White into Kentucky State territory. First down, clock stops a minute 35. I love how they attacked the middle of the field on that. They knew the clock was going to stop on the first down, but, Coach, you got to have the play ready. Two receivers left side, White in single coverage to the right. Harrington joins David right in the backfield. Another three-man rush. Evades some pressure. Looking right side, caught Montrell White. Second straight play. Second straight time, he picks up the first down. Now, this is the David Wright I was looking for right here. This is the David Wright making things happen, moving, moving with the ball. And timeout from Kentucky State mm. as they saw Allen's offense finally snapping into the tempo and rhythm that they're looking for. And, and this is what I, what I was looking for. This is my first time seeing our David Wright since his freshman year. But this is the guy I saw back then. The way he's moving, the way he's looking. Look at him stepping up in the pocket and staying parallel with the line of scrimmage. Keeping his eye down the field and throwing something dead on the money. That's the David Wright I want to see. Wright, back in 2021 as a true freshman, led the SIEC with nearly 2,600 passing yards and 24 touchdowns through the air. Was poised for a big sophomore campaign and then tears his ACL in the fourth game of the season. But... He didn't necessarily take it as the end all of be all, right? Mm -hmm. Season was over. He makes a transition and comes, joins the coaching staff up in the booth mm -hmm. and starts becoming essentially a quarterback coach for the backup Michael Reese and even Daniel Plummer also on the depth chart, right? Right side, Montrell White again. He's the hot route. And Montrell White with a truck move gets inside the 15. Just over a minute to play in the first half. I love the aggressiveness out of Wright, but what Wright has to do right here, once that contact is made, go and work your way out of bounds. Don't try to, you can't score a touchdown right now. I don't care how good you think you are, but you have to get out of bounds because the didn't the ref, I don't think the referee is going to stop that clock. Well, he did stop. He did grant him going out of bounds after the first down. Hand off Harrington, and he is swallowed up. No one was fooled on that play from Kentucky State after Allen had gone pass, pass, pass. They try to crash the box, but Kentucky State's interior line led by Jimmy Evans was not fooled on the play. See, right now, too much time's going. Anytime you call a run play, you got to have a pass play ready after. You have to call two plays. 35 seconds and counting. Referee stopping the whistle because the chain crew had the wrong marker on the down. It is second and 10. Clock rolls 30 seconds. Allen has two timeouts left in the first half. Right. Over the middle, dropped by Montrell White. Hit him in the worst place possible. Right in the hands. Hit him in the hands. <laughs> Hit him in the hands. You got to catch that one. Help your quarterback out some. Oh, yo, yeah, you got to catch that one. Could have reeled it in right at the six. Great camera work down there by the camera people. Hey, Mr. Producer, get those camera, camera guys a raise, man. Timeout. Kentucky State, 25 seconds left here in the first half. Allen will get the football coming out of the break, but they're knocking on the door to score, looking like third and 10 from the 14. Now, this is interesting. I'm a guy, I always want to take the points. Whenever I can get an opportunity to get the points, I want to take the points. Now, let's just play the if game. Let's play the if game. What if Allen throws a pass here and they're short of the first down and then they'll have fourth down and maybe two or three right around the eight or the nine-yard line? Field goal team. We talked about that practice field that Allen just built. Something Allen didn't have for the past four years? A field goal. A field goal. <laughs> a field goal. Now they have a kicker. I'm one of the guys. Guys, if they don't get the first down, let's see if we can get those points with the field goal. Trips left, one receiver to the right side. That's Bobby Moore in single coverage. Wright has Harrington next to him in the backfield. Third and 10 for Allen. Wright, pass deflected at the line of scrimmage. And now a penalty flag on the far side of the field. A little extracurriculars after the play is Armand Harris and Trey Blackman Jr. The nickel for Kentucky State got tangled up. 
Yeah, that flag was laid on the play. Let's look at the top side of your screen. And it was a little tripping around okay. the goal line. Okay, so he said no call. He, he did say no call on the play. It was initially, I believe, going to be a pass interference, mm -hmm. but because the play was going the opposite way, that negates that. Gotcha, gotcha. Good call by the referee. Way to pick up the flag. Way to pick up the flag. Well, here's that field goal unit that we were just talking about moments ago, and as Sylvester touched on, Allen did not have a practice field goal on their home campus until this season. Now in its fifth year as a program, the only time they could practice kicking was before a game, but now they've able to practice the field goal unit as C.D. Bajang steps on one for two this season. Allen, from 2019 to 2022, attempted just a single field goal. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> delay of game penalty will back up Allen five yards, but Jang was telling us a little bit earlier in the week, he feels comfortable from 45 in. <laughs> Now, every kicker you're going to know, he's going to say he feels confident. I like if you're confident in yourself. We're going to find out how confident he is. Kick is blocked. He tries to pick it up. It's bouncing in the end zone. Loose football. Who dives on it? That is one of the most you have to know situation. Did Kentucky State get it? Oh, they got Kentucky it back. Kentucky State got the football as Allen nearly got one of the most improbable touchdowns of the season. See, see, here's one of the things what I like to call Little League football knowledge. Little League football knowledge tells me if it is a block kick and it is on our side, everybody get away. Peter, 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 get away from it. If it's on the other side of the line, then you try to pick it up. That could have been a touchdown for Allen just because you weren't very knowledgeable of the rules. You have to know the rules in this game. A 42-yard attempt blocked by Kentucky State. And they will line up for, to take a knee and send us into halftime. Well, we head in to the locker rooms. Kentucky State leading Allen 21-7. Kentucky State getting a pair of special team scores in the first half. That's been the driving force for the Thoroughbreds as they look for their first conference win of the season and dealing Allen its first loss here in 2023. Well, heading to the break, Felton Huggins Jr.'s group as his first year as head coach of Kentucky State is on the road leading Allen. Kentucky State with a win over Clark Atlanta and a loss to Tuskegee. So far, but Kentucky State in search of their second win of the season with Coach Huggins now is Simone Stanley. Simone. Coach, we had an exciting first half. Your special teams got you two touchdowns. How impressed are you by that unit? Oh, man, well, I mean, with special teams, it's been kind of our killers here all season long. And for our guys to come out and help build the offense out for us, man, it's been very, very crucial for us. So we've been intentional about that this week, and now it's time for my offense to wake up. we got to go to work. How can your offense wake up? I mean, definitely got to take what the defense uh, gives us. But also, uh, it starts up front. Our old line is asleep right now, but we have to wake up real fast. It's about getting the ball out quick and taking what the defense gives us. And we're not doing that right now. We're pressing a little bit, and we're not being physical. But we're going to come out with a better second half. Thanks, Coach. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks, Simone. Well, we head into the locker rooms. It is a 21-7 Kentucky State lead over Allen. A pair of special team scores the tail of the tape here in the first half. Who prevails in the third and fourth quarters? It's the SIAC on ESPN+. Plus.
Back in Columbia here at halftime, Kentucky State leading Allen 21-17. We'll send it down to the field for Allen's Band of Gold. Sports, thousands of live events, ESPN Plus Originals, the exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive.
Back here at halftime, Kentucky State leading Allen 21 to 7. Small Stanley's down on the sidelines with Allen head coach Teddy Keats. Simone? Coach, how can you get your offense back into this one? I think we got to make some adjustments, and I think right there towards the end we caught our rhythm. Um, they made some adjustments on, in the secondary that he hasn't seen, so we had to work through it with our younger receivers, and they worked through it, and I think they got it back now. Your defense hasn't given up a score so far. What are you most proud of from that side of the ball? I'm proud of them. They got to tackle better, but they're doing a really good job of keeping out what they're doing. And I think we got to do a better job on special teams. That's what's hurting us right now, piss poor field positioning, different things of that nature. But I think we'll bounce back. All right, Coach, good luck. Thank you. Thanks, Simone. That's Allen head coach Teddy Keaton as Kentucky State leads his right, Allen ready, Yellow Jackets. 21 to 7 here at the break. We'll step aside and continue our halftime coverage. We return to Columbia for SIAC football right here on ESPN Plus. We are back here at halftime, the final few moments at least, with Kentucky State leading Allen at the break 21-7. to Allen will have the football to begin the third quarter. Kay Crenshaw, Sylvester Williams, Simone Stanley with you tonight on ESPN+. Plus. And Sylvester just spending some time at halftime hearing from both coaches and 
even you and I spent some time with some Allen assistants here in the booth, including linebacker coach E.J. Jr., who knows this league very well, college football Hall of Famer, former head coach at Central State. He was telling us a little bit just a few moments ago. He feels like Allen's just playing out of character right now and trying to make too many big-time plays through the air and instead of taking what Kentucky State is giving them because right now Kentucky State, 21 points, zero from its offense. Mm -hmm. and, and here's the thing, here's the thing. As, as, a, as a team, you would love to be the team that can bully your way and go and take whatever you want. But most times, most times in this game, you have to take what the other school gives you, take what the other teams give you. And Allen has been trying to throw that deep ball down the field, and it has not been there. It has just not been there. But if you notice all of the out routes, the five-yard outs, those crossing patterns across the field, they have been there. So what happens, if you're a Yellow Jacket, you're on that Yellow Jacket coaching staff, this second half you're going to say, hey, man, let's take what is working for us. Let's take the things that we can make work and let's make those things work. And then what happens when you throw those short routes, you throw those crossing routes, those quick out routes, those DBs are starting to play up. Once they start to play up, then you can go over the top and get your home run. The One of the wildest stats we'll see from the first half, Sylvester. Allen, 180 yards total offense, 119 through the air. Yet they trail by 14 points to a Kentucky State team that has 21 points for just 15 total yards. And, and here's the thing with Kentucky State. We came into this game expecting to see an offensive explosion for both teams. And it's kind of been a dud after that first drive. Neither team can get their offense going. So Coach Ruffin, I'm, Co Coach Huggins, I'm sorry, Coach Huggins, when he went in at halftime, I'm pretty sure he dug into that offense. He says, hey, man, we're up, but you guys aren't doing anything to help us out. And if you leave that defense out there for too long, any, a lot of bad things can happen if you just rely, 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 rely on that defense. The 85 Bears had the greatest defense in the world, but they also had the best running back of all times. You need all facets of this game to work if you want to win. Diving into the first half stats, Christian Perez, Kentucky State quarterback, 7 of 10 in the first half. For 33 passing yards, meanwhile, David Wright the third, Allen's junior quarterback, 11 of 24, but a key, two interceptions for Wright in the first half, one of which was a pick six, and we said it earlier on in the first half, Sylvester, David Wright, a player who doesn't make a ton of mistakes on the field, a lot of coaches in this league vault him among the SIAC's best QBs, hadn't thrown an interception since 2021, tonight he's thrown a pair. You know, and you talk about putting them among the best in the conference. A lot of a lot of broadcasters, we get together before the season, and we just have random Twitter talks and, and, and random talks where we sit up and talk. And we all pick David Wright as our quarterback of the year in the, S in the SIAC, not the guy down there in Fort Valley State. We thought David Wright was going to have one of the best comeback seasons of all time. And it seems like tonight, now he started off against Ernst, Erskine. He started off like he was he was going to prove all us right. But it seems like tonight he has to tighten up in the second half. Right, 60% completion percentage in week one against Erskine. 370 yards with two touchdowns tonight. 119 with two interceptions. The opening kickoff bobbled out of bounds by Allen Riggins, and Allen's offense will set up shop at their own 14. Yeah, that's going to be one that he has to think about for a long time right there. If that ball's going out of bounds, you got to let it go out of bounds. I know you're a playmaker. I know you're a guy who wants to make things happen. But if it goes out of bounds, you can take it on the 35 where they can re-kick it. So you got to let it go out of bounds. Just don't touch it. And now, look, you're inside the 20-yard line. 21-7, Kentucky State to begin the third quarter. Allen first and 10 at their own 14. David Wright, the third, toward ACL in week four a season ago, poised for a big junior campaign. But can he snap into a rhythm? They go back to Bo Harrington, the junior tailback, trying to create room around the right side. Allen... 20 carries for 61 yards in the first half. Teddy Keaton was telling us pregame, Sylvester, how, yes, he loves to pass the football. They love to air it out, but they're still trying to build on that run game and make it a vital part of their offense, too. And, you know, as much as the world has become a pass-happy world, you still need 
need a strong running back, maybe a couple of running backs now. You right. have to establish the run. Harrington now catching passes out of the backfield and turning on the Jets down the sidelines. Out across the 29-yard line goes Bo Harrington. And that was just a case of having a big man in space, and you knew that big man just can't keep up with that little running back. That's just turning on the Jets, young man, knowing where the first down marker is and picking up the first down. Pick up of 14 yards to the 28. Fresh set of downs for Allen. Football is back in Harrington's hands. Gets up to the 31. It's second and seven. You know, I like the idea of that play, but look at the linebacker come up and step up in the hole. Right here, stepping up in the hole. Want him to make that tackle in the backfield, though. But he did step up in the hole, and now he's forcing the running back into a position that he isn't very comfortable in. Allen scored on its first drive of the ball game. Can they score on the first drive of the third quarter? Screen out to the right side for Kenny Wilson, the freshman receiver. Sprints his way across the 40-yard line before being forced out of bounds. Wilson, no catches in week one against Erskine. That is third tonight. You know, he won't get a lot of credit for this, but Amani Harris, the way he's blocking as a wing back on these little quick flare outs, these little running back screens, he's doing a great job of blocking it, a uh, shield blocking in the open field to allow that running back to pick up some yardage. Here's Allen and Riggins, the freshman tailback, sidesteps one defender, then gets swallowed up by the interior defensive line. You mentioned Armand Harris there, Sylvester, and a player who Teddy Keaton told us was going to have to step up in this, this one with Allen working without one of their star receivers in Jamal Jones, a ball player who came in second on the team. Five catches, 77 yards in week one, the victory over Erskine. Jones dealing with an ankle injury, ruled out for tonight. We knew Harris was going to play an elevated role, and he's impacting the game more than just catching the football. Speaking of, here's Harris across the 45. They'll give him four yards up to the 48 before he was pushed backwards. Short of the sticks, it's third and two. You know what I like about that play? That was a reward play right there. I think that the offensive coordinator saw what a good job of blocking that Amon Harris was doing on the outside, so he decided to call his number on the crossing route. That was a great reward play and, and if you're a player you love you have you love that you have a coach who notices that he notices the small, small things you're doing so he rewards with that pass third and two oh. pass to wilson bounces off his hands incomplete hit now, him in it's, the, now it's decision time hit him in the worst place possible man where's that it hit him in his hands <laughs> and, and, and this is just an example of you thinking what you're going to do before you catch the ball Number one job of a wide receiver is receive. It's in the title. Your job description is in the title. You have to catch the ball. Allen faced with an early decision near midfield at fourth and two, but Teddy Keaton brings on the punt team. Tamir Wilkins back to boot it away. June Santana to receive a 55-yard punt return back in the first quarter, but Santana won't return this one. He'll call for a fair catch, but dirty laundry on the field. Penalty flag and Allen signaling it's against Kentucky State. This could keep Allen's offense on the field. You know, if you're the Yellow Jackets, this is the penalty that you might want right here because it's fourth, it's fourth and two, fourth and a long two. So if it, any type of penalty, that's going to be a first down for Allen. Let's see what they call. Michael Gaudet, our head official with an SIAC crew this afternoon. Fish is doing a good job out here. Uh, okay, yeah, it was doing the return, so. That will be enforced then on the spot of the fair catch from Santana. Mm -hmm. So instead of it being right around the 18 or so, move it back inside the 10. Now that's a huge penalty right there. Allen's defense is actually, they're actually pitching a shutout. So Allen's defense has been playing super, super strong. Now you have it inside the 10. Their defense hadn't let them down all game. 
Let's see if their defense can actually pick up the slack for the offense and see if they can turn this bad field position into some points. Kentucky State, a punt return touchdown from Shoot Santana. And then the play of Dontavious Brodnax today. He is easily the player of the game so far. Not only did he scoop and score a block punt for over 40 yards on a return, but also took a pick six to the house from 25 yards out. He's making his play for SIAC Defensive Player of the Week. Two players left side. Man sent in motion for Christian Perez. Going to hand it off up the middle, <laughs> trying to create some space. Lavelle Hill will stumble across the 15 up to the 17. Pick up of seven on first down. You know, I gave Lavelle Hill a little bit of slack earlier for missing a block, but my goodness, the young man delivers a blow on this one. Boom! Get out of my way, free safety. Say it's a... You need to up your weight class. A little power tail back there. Pass to the left side will fall incomplete as Perez is trying to find Navy Curry. Up at the 20, that's the line to gain. And this is it's a huge out route right here. You have to put that one on the money. You, know, you have plenty of time. But here's the thing. You're a right-handed quarterback throwing back to your left. It's a hard throw, but you got to make it. A name we haven't said much tonight, Sylvester, and it's very surprising, Markel Cotton, mm. a star receiver for Kentucky State, came in leading the team eight catches, 107 yards, being knee state transfer. And look at that. It's <laughs> Cotton along the far side, move the sticks. Well, if you're going to find a reliable receiver, go with the name that's at the top of the scouting report, according to Teddy Keaton. Hey, man, you need to go and play the lottery tonight. Man. You're, <laughs> you're picking them right. A little fortune teller, right? There you go. Reading the crystal ball. Trips right, one left, another pass from Perez. This time, not enough to get it to Cotton Far side and complete. You know, I, I've seen a lot of one hoppers tonight from both both quarterbacks. And anytime you have those one hoppers, that means the quarterback isn't setting and making a strong, crisp throw. You have to set yourself, make a strong throw in there. Skipping stones tonight from both quarterbacks. Trips left, another hard count from Kentucky State. They got Allen to jump on that a few times in the first half, but the Yellow Jacket defense led by longtime coach L.C. Cole bounced around a few different places. And a living legend, according to Kentucky State head coach Felton Huggins. A hold on the Kentucky State O-line, but the pass complete to the 30. Though uh, <laughs> you said I was lucky you should play the line. If I was a betting man, I'd say this is coming back. Oh, that's definitely coming back right there. Oh, look, <laughs> he, he got a hole. Hey, here's, here's the thing. If you can't make the block, you might as well hold and hope the referee doesn't see it. It's like a, a drywall holding paint. <laughs> Wasn't going to let go of that one. <laughs> Under 11 minutes to play here in the third quarter. Stono scores in the second half. Kentucky State and Allen, the Thoroughbreds' first offensive drive of the second half. Came in with 15 total yards of offense in the first half, but 21 points thanks to its special teams and defense. And here in their first drive of the third quarter, have only gone backwards. Now second and 20. Four receivers set. A pitch play to the right side. It's Fishback down the sideline. Pushed out of bounds at the 19-yard line. Now, that's an interesting look right there. I've never quite seen an option run like that. <laughs> Looks like it was a, a, a pitch, but they kind of ran an option. I never saw that one before. <laughs> that's different. I think we're going to see a lot of those interesting formations from Kentucky State this year. I mean, you talk about an offense that ran the triple option. As of late, now they're running the air raid. You talk about flipping a coin. I'm polar polar opposites right there. So as you're slowly working to get your wide receivers adjusted to that style of offense, Felton Huggins Jr. was telling us earlier in the week that establishing the run game and cre creating some fun offensive plays will help those wide receivers develop in this brand new system. Timeout, Kentucky State. 21-7 Thoroughbreds will step aside here for the SIAC on ESPN+. Plus. John, what makes
made you become a Cricket Campus Ambassador? Do tell. I live to network. HBCU's all about that. The key word being network. <laughs> oh, like a certain network that has speedy 5G and is a proud sponsor of HBCUs? I see you could take a hint. <laughs> I can drop a hint too, Don. <laughs> Founders Federal Credit Union, we know success is a team effort. We're always cheering for you, side by side, so you can dream big and achieve your goals. Offering products and services that put you in the lead, whether that's helping you buy a car, build your savings, or supporting your community. We're here with the financial support you need. That's teamwork. Score big with Founders Federal Credit Union. Relax with Founders. HBCUs are anchored by legacy. They nurture the talent and determination of their students and prepare them for a bright future. The Home Depot's Retool Your School program has and still believes in the excellence of HBCUs. Committed not just in speech, but through the revitalization and upgrades of the campuses these students call home. Building, planting, tilling the dream, all hearts and countless volunteers on the ground. Retool Your School, we're powered by purpose. Back in Columbia, less than 10 minutes left in the third quarter. Kentucky State leading Allen 21-7. Kentucky State looking at third and long, deep in their own territory. Christian Perez, three-step drop, has time, and looking to scramble, slides across the 30, and a penalty flag flies in for a late hit. Oh, yeah, you got to recognize that. You got to recognize quarterbacks coming in for a slide, and you just have to pull up. I didn't know Christian Perez could pick him up and put him down like that. Christian Perez had a little bit of speed to him. 44 yards on 11 oh, carries coming man. in, and a no-doubt impact play there on the left. Would be Sean Simon, the talent set transfer Johnson C. Smith. That might be a gentle right there. Let's see how they're going to make all that targeted. He hit him in, he hit him in the head. Here's our head official, Michael Gaudet. No targeting on the play, and it was Keyshawn Robinson, the guilty party, not Sherrod Simmon. A huge, huge break for Allen. Yes, still a late penalty, and no, that's Simmon on the hit. It, Simmon, the referee announced 36. Jersey is actually number six. Sherrod Simmon. Sports. Thousands of live events. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Comforting feeling the coach. You know, right in Live sports. Thousands of live events. ESPN Plus Originals. Set. Trips left. Perez looks right side. He's got cotton. But throws it too much in front of him. Incomplete. You know, you know I think Phil, uh, Perez's helmet has came off probably about three, maybe four times this game. You know, that last play, I understand that last one. He got hit He got hit in the helmet, but he might want to tighten that chin strap up. You're exactly bit. right. That's the reason we've seen Johnson so much in this game is because Red's helmet just refuses to stay on. Third and six. Kentucky State looks to keep the drive alive around midfield. Feeling that pressure from the back side. It, it was Gary Burridge, the all SAC second linebacker from a year ago. Selection. Burridge, the senior out of. That was 
spirit model. And then he's over to Allen at the team season of 66. Yeah, 10 tackles in this game last year. That was the season oh. high year. One is dropped, diving on it, and saving was nearly a, a disaster. Was Russell Stroud really could have gone south there for Allen? Man, this is live sports. Thousand here gets the ball inside the five yard line. Look, he has one foot in the end zone. Live sports. Thousands of live events. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive access. Top leagues and tournaments. And the biggest names in the game. ESPN Plus. Live sports. Thousands of live events. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive access. Antavius brought things to know. The 'll the tale of the tape so far the story of the game Sylvester has been the play of Dontavius Broadnax the senior linebacker had just one tackle through Kentucky State's first two games of the season what has Broadnax done tonight well he's returned a block punt for a touchdown he's returned a pick six for a score and he just brought down Bo Harrington in the end zone for a safety the scorer right now Dontavius Broadnax has 16 points all by himself. 16 to 7 brought that over Allen. What a good, I mean, what a defensive performance you're having by this young man. You know, the, the, the Broadnecks family, you know, you guys need to reach out to us. Tell us what you're feeding that, feeding that kid down there, man. He's a monster. I guess he wasn't too pleased with those first two games. And now, now the senior down there in Brainbridge, Georgia, he has stepped up and stepped up huge. Jude Santana on the return for Kentucky State. Brian Great around the the Let's check this out. It's the third quarter that we would like to do. We love, love the guys. We love the interaction, talking to the fans, talking to our, 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 our,
Live sports, thousands of live events, ESPN Plus Originals, the exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library, exclusive access, top leagues and tournaments, and the biggest names in the game, ESPN Plus, live sports, Thousands of live events, ESPN Plus Originals, the exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library, exclusive access, top leagues and tournaments, and the biggest names in the game, ESPN Plus. Capabilities in it. Thousands of live events, ESPN Plus Originals, the exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library, exclusive access, top leagues and tournaments, and the biggest names in the game, ESPN Plus, live sports, thousands of live events. ESPN Plus Original. If you follow football recruiting, you don't have to get makes things a little tougher here in 2023 to do so. But it's so amazing how things have changed and evolved. Uh, live sports. Thousands of live events. ESPN Plus Originals. I think Kentucky State just got a out of face mask. He did not grab the face mask. He kind of grabbed that jersey. Face mask. Fresh set of downs with luck on Kentucky State's side to start the third quarter. Johnson was in quarterback for Kentucky State. The third ones don't like what they see on offense. Timeout. You know, here's another thing. We were talking about Twitter and talking about we if we young people watch your social media means so much to you in this recruiting. Not only is it an avenue for you to get your tip. Get your tape and your film out there. Those social media. You can say something stupid on social media. You can be ruining your chance to get recruited. Live sports. Thousands of live events. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive access. Top leagues and tournaments. And the biggest names in the game. Trying to mount into downfield. Keep Dylan Johnson quarterback. Christian Perez sticking on the sidelines after Kentucky State. While they lead this game, hasn't done much on less than 30 yards total offense tonight. Hand off up the gut. Lavelle Hill up across the 50. On the Allen up the first down and more. Boy, Dan Johnson at the end of this one, trying to provide Kentucky State's offense with a bit of a spark, and so far, we see what coaches all went to know. It's 
Originals, the exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library, exclusive access, top leagues and tournaments, and the biggest names in the game, ESPN Plus, live sports, thousands of live events, ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive access. Top leagues and tournaments. And the biggest names in the game. ESPN Plus. Live sports. Thousands of live events. ESPN Plus originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive access. Top leagues and tournaments. And the biggest names in the game. ESPN Plus. Live sports. Thousands of live events. ESPN Plus originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive access. Top leagues and tournaments. And the biggest names in the game. ESPN Plus. Live sports. Thousands of live events. ESPN Plus original. Exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive access. Top leagues and tournaments. And a train ride. All the way back at their own 38. The line to gain is the Allen 32. And you better, First and 30. You better believe that defensive front is coming. They have their ears pinned back. Handoff. Right side is Journey. Don't stop believing. Journey across 45. So we are on first step. Move a little bit. of live events ESPN Plus Originals the exclusive home of the complete Play now in its second week for Kentucky State Johnson trying to scramble gets past the second level and more Denham Johnson across the 30 the quarterback has some running room and he finds the end zone holy cow Try to catch him tonight. All five with the other hundred and fifty pounds. Cannot do that. Look at the young man. Now he pulls and takes on his butt. Nobody's going to try to Live sports. Thousands of live events. ESPN Plus Originals. The double option coming back. Those wide receivers blocking down. The extra point is up and good. 
The first offensive score of the night for Kentucky State score comes on a 62-yard scamper from Johnson. His first touchdown with Kentucky State. They lead it 3 to 7 over out. It's the SIAC right here on ESPN+. Plus. Live sports, thousands of live events, ESPN Plus Originals, the exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library, exclusive access, top leagues and tournaments, and the biggest names in the game, ESPN Plus. He is losing a knee injury. He went in pain, but he did not go under the medical tent. And he told me that he wants to win. Nice return from Wilson across the 35 of the 40. And small update on that Campbell in the recovery process. Just over three minutes left in the third quarter. It's 30 to 7. Kentucky State over Allen. Kate Crimshaw, Sylvester Williams with you in the booth. Sylvester. And now an offense that drove straight down the field, scored on its first drive of the night. They haven't found the end zone since. What can they do to find Pater once again? Right now they need to build confidence in David Wright. And the way you build confidence in your quarterback is just short passes, short, quick passes, passes he doesn't have to think too much on, just short and quick. Right, plenty of time. Left side, Wilson at the sticks across the 50, and he has the sideline. Kenny. Wilson oh. tripped up at the 10. A shoelace saving tackle from Kentucky State. It was Isaiah Clay saving the touchdown. And right now, Allen needs to get on the ball. They need to get on the ball and go. Right now, you, you kind of caught Kentucky State. They're, they're, they're feeling they're kind of off guard. Let's get on the ball. Don't hesitate. Did his own man clip? Oh, wow. He got one fingertip down there to clip him up. You were right, man. It's a shoelace tackle. An injured thoroughbred back near the line of scrimmage. And Smonte Davis, one of the starting defensive ends for Kentucky State. There you go. I guess, they, okay, they had a man down. So that'll, that'll definitely slow up the offense. Anytime you got an injury, you're going to have to stop and let that injured player get on off the field. This isn't like practice. How the coach you say, hey, let's move down 15 and keep going. Davis walking off under his own power with the training staff. You know, Allen knocking on the door to score. First and goal from the 10. You know, I talked about building confidence in your quarterback, but hey, that gives confidence right there. 
a huge completion to Kenny Wilson down the left side that was called the 50, and a shoestring tackle brought him down after 40 yards after the catch. Tight formation, handoff, Allen Riggins. Left side swallowed up. Kentucky State defensively, outside of the one big play moments ago, continues to stand tall. And you know, one thing Kentucky State has done all game, they hadn't allowed any sweeps, anything to the outside. They hadn't allowed that to work for Allen. Allen has gotten all of their rushing yards in between the tackles, just straight up in between the tackles. It's second and goal from the 10. No gain on the carry from Riggins. Two receivers to each side. Man in motion, that's Wilson. Right. Past the left side, batted away. Everyone dives on it. Right was able to come away with it for Allen, but what was second and goal from the team with a wide open Allen Riggins coming out of the backfield, headed for the inside pylon instead. We take a look back here, and it was not batted down. It slipped out of David Wright's hand. Boy, what can go wrong tonight for the Razor Soccer has? You know, this is just one of those things where Allen just can't get out of their own way. <laughs> they just cannot get out of their own way in this game. Third and goal back at the 21. Right, room to work, no flags. Armand Harris over the middle, working back to the left. Tash Harris spins over the five, and a big-time completion on third and goal with 21 yards to go. Harris now gives you a shot towards the end zone on fourth and goal. Now fourth and goal right here on this type of play right here you have the wide side of the field is the right side of the field. Your quarterback's right handed. I would love to see some type of rollout action to the right side of the field. Let's, let's see which way they're going. You need all your crossing routes. Need all your crossing routes right now. Let's see, see which way they go with it. Fourth and goal for Allen from the eight. Kentucky State brings the blitz. Pass over oh, the middle God. is dropped. Incomplete. Looking for Kenny Wilson, who had a 53-yard catch to set up the red zone opportunity. Drops it at the goal line. I tell you what, if Kenny Wilson had a shovel right now, he would be digging a hole in that turf to kind of bury himself. Oh, my goodness. It hit him in the worst possible place. Right in the hands for Wilson. Hit him in the hands. Oh, my goodness. I'll tell you, and that's the exact play you want drawn up, the quick inside slant on the goal line. You had man-to-man -man coverage. The safety wasn't there. You have to hold on to that ball. Look at that. Linebacker sucked up on the other side, and it was right there on the money. You got to catch that. Wilson had beat his man, Malik Okur, who had an interception back in the first half, but... Denham Johnson back on the field for Kentucky State. They'll hand it off to Fishback up the middle with 50 seconds and rolling here in the third quarter. Don't be surprised if Kentucky State, a team who is trying to implement an air raid offense, turns to their ground game, tries to eat up some clock, holding a 23-point. 23-point lead, go ahead. Let's run, take as much time as we possibly can on that pay, play clock. Let's work down that clock. You got a 23-point lead. The clock is your friend. 15 seconds on the play clock for Johnson, who scored on a 53-yard scamper moments ago. Screen out to the right side. Caught in the flats. He's trying to stumble forward up to the 20. Markel Cotton on the catch. You know, Cotton's been quiet this game, but, you know, it seems like the few catches he's made, they've been for first downs. Cotton is a go-to receiver for this team. That'll take us to the fourth with Kentucky State leading Allen 30-7. to seven. Fifteen minutes away from Kentucky State's second win of the season. Can Allen come back? We'll be back.
Back in Columbia, 30 to seven, Kentucky State lead down to begin the fourth quarter. Let's check in with Simone Stanley on the sidelines. Simone? You guys were talking in the booth earlier about quarterback Christian Perez's helmet. Back in Columbia, 30 to seven, Kentucky State leads Allen to begin the fourth quarter. Let's check in with Simone Stanley on the sidelines. Simone? You guys were talking in the booth earlier about quarterback Christian Perez's helmet coming off multiple times in the game where the backup had to come in because his helmet came off. And I heard you guys asking, is it a hard hit or is the helmet loose? And the helmet is loose. The assistant coach for Kentucky State told me that once they talk to the equipment managers when they get back to campus, it's going to be a hard conversation. <laughs> a hard conversation indeed to tighten up that helmet. Kentucky State's starting quarterback. But it's been the play of the backup that's been the surprise here in the second half. Denham Johnson, a 5'10", 150-pound senior out of Humble, Texas. Most fitting name for the way he's played in this one. A special kid, the way he was described by coaches and teammates alike. Johnson earlier on in the third, a 52-yard scamper and score. Kentucky State's lone offensive touchdown of the night. And look at him. There he goes again, but slides a little bit. Not 52 yards. Instead, takes about four, but penalty flag on the field. Shout out to the young man from Texas, man. You know, Texas, man. They, they, they got a couple of football players down there in Texas. I, I heard, I heard Just they, a few, right? Yeah, I heard they play a little bit of football in Texas. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, man. I, I've seen some some facilities in Texas, man. I've called some games out in Texas. Some oh, high, incredible. High school games, man. I, I tell you, their stadiums look like they could be D1 stadiums, man, out there in, in Texas high school. Yeah, man, some people say it is God, your family, and football. And sometimes the football comes before the other two. Humble, Texas, just about 20 miles outside of Houston, the home of Denham Johnson. Illegal motion, the call against Kentucky State. Looking at second and 13 now. They're going to try and let as much of that clock run off as possible to take away opportunities from Allen. And a four-receiver set. Johnson looking one-on-one -on -one coverage to the right side, but overthrows Jaden Hale. That brings up third and long. You know, I like the idea. I like the thought process on that play. You know, you've been running on the inside, throwing some short passes, quarterback been scrambling to get out of stuff. You see his one-on-one -on -one coverage on the outside, so let's just go deep. Let's go deep and see what happens. Now, you would love for the youngster to throw that one in bounds because I think his running his wide receiver had a step on that DB. Yes, take a sideline shot, right? I mean, you, you, hold, you hold a 30-7 to seven lead in the fourth quarter. Essentially, you're playing with house money right now. Playing with house money. Third and long for Kentucky State. Two receivers spread out to the left side, one to the right. Johnson going to roll to his left. And we'll throw it away. Smart here's a play right there. Rolling to the outside. Nothing's there. Throw it up into the stands. Give somebody a souvenir. 
young man has a nice arm on him too, man. Strong arm. Fourth and 13, the punt unit on for Kentucky State. Allen hoping they can get this football right around midfield or to set up some solid field positions. They have a lot of ground to make up here, down 23 points with 13 minutes to play. Ricks gets the punt away. Takes a bounce at the 50. Kentucky State sees it roll their way. <laughs> a little, <laughs> little extra breeze on it there. That's Zachary Neighbors, the, one of the offensive linemen who sees special teams time. Just trying to get a little bit extra roll. Hey, shout out to Luke Winsel. Luke watching out of East St. Louis. Watching, I got a couple of guys from East St. Louis on the team. Luke, home of Christian Perez. Yeah, hey, uh, Luke, tell me who you who you're rooting for. Hey, one thing we love doing, we love giving shout outs. Now, make sure you tweet me. Tweet me at Slide the Sports Guy so we can give you a shout out on air. Shout out to Luke. I think if he's from East St. Louis, I'd be willing to bet who he's pulling for in this one. Mm -hmm. That's the pride and joy of East St. Louis and Christian Perez, Kentucky State quarterback. David Wright has time to work. Left side caught Bo Harrington. The tailback gets out of bounds at the 47. Good job by Bo Harrington of breaking off his route. He, he, he saw his quarterback was in trouble, so he broke off his route, and he ran flat and parallel to the line, and his quarterback found him. Good job of finding him by David Wright. Allen trying to score for the first time since the eight-minute mark in the first quarter on their first drive of the ball game. Wright with four receivers all on go routes, but he is wrapped mm. up and brought down. A huge loss, and who else? Dontavious Broadnax. Two touchdowns, a safety, and now a sack for Broadnax, the linebacker out of Bainbridge, Georgia. He is... <laughs> Shout out to all the decision makers in the SIAC when we get our media votes this week. I already know who I'm voting for, for my defensive player of the week, man. My goodness, this young man is having a whale of a game. Armand Harris down on the play for Allen. Looks to be dealing with some type of a lower leg injury, possibly. I don't want to speculate, but ramping issues. I wonder how many of his family came up to see this one. Now, he's from Bainbridge, Bainbridge, Georgia. And, you know, that's right, I think Bainbridge is right there on the coast of Georgia, so I wonder if they took that trip up 95 and got on 20 to uh, to come to Columbia to check this one out, to check out this game. You know, it's a whole lot shorter trip to Columbia than it is to Frankfort, Kentucky. Bainbridge, Georgia, about six hours, you know, just south of Albany, right there, just above the Florida border, mm -hmm. above Tallahassee, Seminole country. Well, after the huge loss on the sack, it is second and a train right. For now an offense that needs points badly, they're going in the wrong direction. Right, looking for it deep. And Reese, it's incomplete. Nearly picked off, leaping into coverage as Amani speaks. And there's multiple flags in the defensive secondary. Kind of makes me wonder what that call is when they throw the flag back that deep way before way before past interference time. 12 men on the field. Mm. 12 men. You can only play with 11. If you could play with 12, game would be a lot easier. <laughs> You know, I think back a few weeks ago, actually, you, you know, you say the game would be easier in uh, one of the first games of the college football season, North Carolina, South Carolina, Carolina, right? They were in the Bank of America Stadium up in Charlotte for the Duke's Mayo Bowl kickoff, and South Carolina in a goal line situation had 13 defenders on the field. North Carolina still scored. <laughs> Second and long, right back to pass, has time, now escaping, pressure coming, and he'll be wrestled down at the 45, penalty flag flies in. When you see one come in right there at the spot of the tackle, you kind of wonder, did he get a face mask because he was trying to bring him down? Take a second look here. They might call, well, I guess they call horse collar. Oh, no, he called face mask. This is the second time that they've called the face mask, and he didn't, he didn't actually grab the face mask. He grabbed up under the neck. 
Got right on the inside of the shoulder pads. We take a second look here. No tug on the face mask. If anything, you would call horse collar. Maybe you could get away with calling a horse collar tackle, but face mask, he didn't actually grab the face mask. What was that? then second in a nightmare is now first in a dream. Fresh set of downs for Allen. Trips right, one left, hand off to Riggins. Stiff arms one defender, but can't escape a second. As is Jonathan Adams, Jr., getting the stop for Kentucky State. Yeah, he tried to stiff a home broadness. That may be the only thing broadness didn't do right this afternoon. I don't think there's any doubt unless, of course, we're not watching other games right now, but unless, you know, there's a, a Clark Atlanta D lineman or a, a Fort Valley State safety with, you know, ten tackles or five picks, I think this is Broadnax's week to be SIAC Defender of the Week. Hey, look at David Wright escaping. Can he make something out of nothing? It's incomplete. The fact that he got an incomplete pass out of that, that may be the most amazing play of the night right there for that, that David Wright has had all night. Just trying to create something out of a disaster. Third and nine upcoming. You see this? That's one defender wrapped up. Another chasing him. David Wright just barely snuck away from trouble. Third and nine for Allen at the Kentucky State 39-yard line. Two receivers to each side with the thoroughbreds putting four down linemen. They'll rush four right, pass oh. to the right side, and that should be interference and is. Winston Reese was pushed about 10 yards <laughs> from where the ball landed. There was no doubt about that penalty flag. Now, here's the thing. If you look at the top side of your screen, look at the top side of your screen. If you're a DB and you're getting beat and you're going to get beat for the touchdown, you might as well go ahead and push your man. And look, at he gave him a good shove. And, and this is the thing about college football. In college football, it's going to be a 15-yard penalty um, if it's a pass interference. In the professionals, it's a spot of the, spot of the foul. Uh, placement. That's where they're going to put the ball at. So if you're getting beat, you might as well give up 15 <laughs> and, and go ahead and live the fight another day. Four receiver set from the 29. Right over the middle. Caught Armand Harris. Touchdown, Allen. Armand Harris with his first touchdown catch of the season. The fifth of his career. And the Yellow Jackets find the end zone. I've been really, really impressed with what I've seen out of Amon Harris. Not only receiving the ball, what he's been doing, blocking also. And look at him go up and get it at his highest point and bring it down with two hands. Great job. And you know the contact is coming. You know somebody's going to hit you. Great job by Amon Harris. Harris climbs the ladder for the touchdown catch. And the Yellow Jackets offense looking for the two-point conversion right to Harrington, makes a sidestep, another leaps for the end zone, and he gets in. Two-point conversion, good for Allen, now down by 15 points with right over 11 minutes left. We're suddenly in a brand new ball game, a two-score affair with Allen and Kentucky State. It's the SIEC on ESPN+. Plus. With Academy Sports and Outdoors, you can take outdoor fun to a whole new level with just the touch of a button because there's so much to discover on the Academy app. Create your dream outdoor living space that gets the whole family out there spending time together. Master new recipes with just the right amount of heat and the perfect spice or seasoning. And give the kids even more ways to play. Great times are waiting. Download the Academy Sports and Outdoors app today. What are you guys doing? Learning that HBCUs are not only about networking, there's also secret handshakes. That's cap. HBCUs do not have secret handshakes, right? You mean this secret handshake? Cool. Wow. These guys are almost cricket 5G fast. We're kidding. There's no such thing as a secret handshake. Or is there? Whoa. HBCUs are anchored by legacy, 
They nurture the talent and determination of their students and prepare them for a bright future. The Home Depot's Retool Your School program has and still believes in the excellence of HBCUs. Committed not just in speech, but through the revitalization and upgrades of the campuses these students call home. Building, planting, tilling the dream, all hearts and countless volunteers on the ground. Retool Your School. We're powered by purpose. Jackets scoring just moments ago. Touchdown catch hauled in by Armand Harris. His first score of the season. A high arching kick takes a hop at the 25. Kentucky State will drop back and make the catch. That's Markel Cotton, one of the standout receivers, having the heads up play, knowing he has to. Go get that football quickly, or else Allen could have recovered. Mm -hmm. That is a live ball, live ball. And, and once again, I always talk to the youngsters when I who are watching this game. Part of this game is you have to know the rules to football. If you know the rules, it makes it a lot easier for you when you play the ball. If you know that kickoff, that is a live ball, a live ball. That means anybody can pick it up. So great job by Cotton. They recognize him. This is a live ball that he went after and he got it. Allen has played strong defensively all night. If you're just joining us and you see Kentucky State's 30 points, you may be misled, but let's break it down for you. A special teams punt return, a special teams blocked punt return for a touchdown, a pick six, and a safety. That's 23 of the 30, so so far Allen's defense has only given up seven points, mm -hmm. but now they have to play some of their best football of the game. And you know, now is when they're going to have to step up and step up huge. They've been doing it all night long, but now you have to continue. And here's the thing, if you're Kentucky State, the, the momentum and, and, and the, the good feeling that you built up driving down, you're like, hey, I believe I can do it again. First and 10, Kentucky State with Denham Johnson remaining in at quarterback. Two receivers left side, Johnson handoff to Fishback who makes some defenders miss, but not Kevin Graham. Wrestles him down at the 20. We know Fishback's a tough kid. <laughs> we saw the push a little bit earlier. We know he's a tough one. You know, and, and just a real elusive type runner, too. It's hard to bring down. First man doesn't really bring him down. I love a running back who can run out of those arm tackles or make somebody miss, that first defender miss. Denham Johnson came into this ball game as the backup quarterback to Christian Perez, but Kentucky State's offense just wasn't clicking to start this one. Had just 15 yards of total offense at one point in the third quarter. Then Denham Johnson comes in and breaks away for a 52-yard touchdown run of his own, almost quadrupling what the offense had done so far on the night. We'll have to take a timeout here a little miscommunication, but Johnson's given Kentucky State that spark on offense they were just missing through almost three quarters tonight. And it looks like Johnson has a nice fan club out of Texas. <laughs> Humble, Texas senior, about 20 miles outside of Houston. Yeah, they, they just hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up on Twitter. I'm sorry, my headphones falling all over the place. Glasses moving out of the way, man. Getting old, man. Stuff, stuff moving around on me. But shout out to, to, to 42. And I can't say, you know, I can't say your name on air. But we're gonna say 42. He says, humble Texas, where legends are born, doing big things in Kentucky. I don't like that, man. Hey, man, this is what we love to do. We love to give shout outs. We love to give shout outs on air. So tweet us. Uh, Cade, where can they tweet you at? 
at K Crin, C A D E C R E N. You can tweet me at Slide the Sports Guy, man. Let us know what you think. Let us who's the who's watching from the farthest away. We got somebody from East St. Louis. We got somebody from Texas. Let us know where you're watching from. Second and ten out of the Kentucky State timeout. Hand off left side, fish back. Swallowed up at the line. Nowhere to go. They won't, they'll give him a single yard on a second straight carry. You know, and I, I love how the Yellow Jacket defense, they're swarming to the ball. They're getting to the ball. They're trying to make this huge third, third down stand. Now, this will be huge for the Yellow Jackets if they can hold on this possession. A huge third and nine. Can Allen's defense get the stop they need with the clock coming up on nine minutes left, trailing by more than two scores? Three receivers right side, one to the left. For Johnson, the ball is loose. It's on the ground, and Allen has it. The true freshman linebacker, Andre Phillips, comes up huge for the Yellow Jackets. Now that is what you needed if you're Allen University. That got this crowd on his feet right here. Oh, yeah, he tried to pull it, and it hit the running back's leg. And look at that, Johnny on the spot. Sometimes it just pays to be in the right place at the right time. Instead of Johnny, it was Andre this time as Phillips makes the big-time recovery for Allen. Tremendous field positioning. The Yellow Jackets can bring themselves right back into this one. First and 10 from inside the 25. Let's see if they go for the end zone right here. Two receivers to each side. David Wright has Bo Harrington next to him in the backfield. Kentucky State brings six. Wright dumps it off to Harrington who has room to work. Harrington around the left side. Touchdown, Allen. There goes Bo. Harrington in the end zone. And Allen has stormed back, trailing by as much as 23. The Yellow Jackets are an extra point away from making this an eight-point ball game. Look at what David Wright did. This is what I was looking for out of David Wright. That was not his first option. That's your check down route. That is a great job of being an elite level quarterback. Elite level quarterbacks understand and know how to check down and find the open receiver. Great job by David Wright showing that he is an elite level quarterback. Allen scored an ex a two point conversion on their last touchdown. Lining up for a second one here. Harrington left side trips. Harrington does not get there, and that's a big-time decision. Right now, you're trailing by nine points. It's a two-possession game for Allen. If you get the two-point conversion there, you knew whether you, it was on that score or a hopeful second score, you were going to need the two-point conversion eventually. But Allen gets a much-needed score from David Wright to Bo Harrington. It's 30-21, to 21, Allen over Kentucky State on the ESPN+. Plus.
Welcome back to the capital city of the Palmetto State here in Columbia, South Carolina. 30-21, to 21, Kentucky State leads Allen, but the Yellow Jackets of Allen University have stormed back, scoring a pair of touchdowns within the last three minutes of gameplay. They now trail by nine points. Sylvester, it seems like all the momentum right now is with the blue and gold. Mr. Momentum has changed the dresses. <laughs> he is now in Columbia, South Carolina, instead of Frankfort, Kentucky. C.D. Bajang to boot it away for Allen, a high arching kick. It's fair call back inside the 25. And, and here's situational awareness right here. If you're the up back, you never back up to catch the ball. He called the fair catch. If he would have came up and blocked for his receivers, they could have picked up some positive yardage off of that situation. But if you are the up back, you never go backwards to catch the ball. One of his teammates had to call him off. They, they, you, you have to communicate as a team. Let them know, hey, get out of my way. I got it. I got it. I got it. Go and block. Something to note here, Sylvester. We see Christian Perez jogging onto the field for Kentucky State. And the starting quarterback spent much of the time tonight leading this offense, but only garnered about 15 total yards of offense. Then Denham Johnson came in and brought home a touchdown for Kentucky State. But they make the change here to the now being a nine-point game. Perez calls for the snap, hands it off up the middle. It's Fishback again. You know, inter interesting move, but, but Coach Huggins knows who his players are. He knows he knows his personnel a lot better than we know our, than we know his personnel. So Denham Johnson has done a really, really good job at quarterback, but all of his positive yards have been on broken plays. I'm not sure if he's going to, I'm not sure how many, he might not have completed a pass. I don't think Denham Johnson's completed a pass. Picked up a pair on the scamper from Fishback. So I guess you definitely want to bring in your quarterback who can complete a pass. Once again, the run game does not go anywhere. Coming in strong was M.C. Henderson off the edge. Henderson, the senior out of Macon, Georgia, with his ninth tackle of the season. That eclipses his total from a season ago with eight. <laughs> M.C. Henderson. I was, I was about to say M.C. Hammer right there. I was, <laughs> hey, I almost you caught this, right? I'll tell you, please, Hammer, don't hurt him. Three receivers left side on third and ten. A huge play right here for Allen's defense. They'll need the football twice if they want to battle back against Kentucky State. Trailing by nine points, you have to find a defensive stop here, you feel like. Seven and a half to play. Pass caught. Far side, Kiki McFadden doesn't get the sticks. In fact, only gets a yard. A huge third down stop for Allen. Huge, huge tackle by your DB. If you watch this play, watch how your DB drops off in the coverage, realizes where the pass is, comes up and makes a great form tackle. Look at the form tackle here. Head up, wrap around, grab the legs, and drive your legs on back. Drive your legs on back. Javon Ricks punts it away for Kentucky State. It's a short punt, takes a hop at the 45, then rolls back to the Allen 30. 6.46 to play in the fourth quarter. Allen trailing Kentucky State by nine. Sylvester, if you're Allen's offense right now, you know time is running thin and you know you need at least two possessions here. How do you try to approach the tempo? The first play, I'm greedy. I'm greedy on the first play. I'll, I'll I'm a big fan of the play action because the run has been successful for Allen tonight. So now let's see if we can suck those DBs up with a play action. I'm a huge fan of the play action now. Let's see what happens. Four receivers set. Bo Harrington, who had the touchdown catch just moments ago, is with right in the backfield. Right looking over the middle under throws, Montreal White. Second down upcoming. Tried to run a little 12-yard in route 
with the inside receiver. It just wasn't there. Great job out of linebacker dropping back into that deep curl zone to kind of undercut. And here's that guy, Broad next again. He's the guy in in the area. You know, wherever the ball is, you know, Broad next, he's going to be somewhere close to it. Two receivers split to each side once again. Right. Three-step drop, has some time, tries to dump off Harrington out of the backfield. Nowhere to go. The secondary of Kentucky State really playing strong. Mm -hmm. And you see the push they're getting up front. Look at the push the defensive line is getting. And they're forcing Wright to kind of throw off his back foot. And anytime you throw off your back foot, man, that's a 50-50 chance that that ball is going to get there. Third and ten for Allen. I guess yep. it's a 50-50 chance anytime you throw the ball. He's <laughs> either going to get there or not. <laughs> fair point. Fair point. So you have to feel like this is two down territory right here for Allen with six and a half to play. Right, left side, caught across the 40. Montrell White, that's right along the line to gain. They'll move the chain. First down, Allen. Beautiful play. Beautiful pass play. Recognizing, and, and, and here's a great thing about a receiver, running the route deep enough for the first down. You have to know where that first down marker is when you're coming out of your cut or before the end of your cut. You need to know where that first down marker is. Great job by the receiver. First and 10, the clock rolls under six and a half to play. All spotted at the 40. Right with three receivers. To the right side, a deep ball Ooh. overthrows Montrell White. He had him in stride. Would have been hard for Kentucky State to catch up. To the senior receiver out of Sumter, South Carolina. David Wright looking towards the end zone, nearly had his man. And that was everything that the Allen offensive coordinator wanted and dreamed of, except the quarterback. Just put it there. And sometimes, hey, you got to put it there. Trips right. Instead, kicks it left side. Caught Bobby Moore. Room to run after the catch. Nearly lost the football, but held on to it as he falls up to the 41. You know, I like that play right there. Just run, just run a quick little set route. Get in that open spot in the zone and pick up the first down. Fresh set of downs for Allen, needing to find the end zone. Right. Pocket collapsing, dumps it off, has a man, but underthrows him. Once again, it's Kenny Wilson. It feels like every pass tonight for Wilson almost has just been a bit underthrown. And, and that's just one of those things. He's finding great job of picking up the four-man rush. Five on four blocking, actually six on four blocking. Great job of blocking up front, but you just... God, oh, just slightly under the thong. A little bit more time in the weight room. Second and 10 for Allen at the 41 yard line. Right, makes one man miss. <clears throat> but can't get it to Wilson. You know, sometimes when, when you're a great passer, you kind of neglect the running part of the quarterback game. And see, now, once he breaks downfield, right here, he has a lane open. He has a lane open. He can get down the field a little bit further, and he could have picked up some positive yards. I know you want to try to throw it in there, but that's a hard throw to make when you're going to your left and trying to throw it straight down the field on the right. Five and a half to play. Right, right side. Caught Montrell White at the numbers. Stumbles ahead. Critical he stayed on his feet. A big third down conversion. You know, huge play right there to maintain your balance just enough so you can get the first down. Go ahead, put that pan in the ground, kind of keep yourself up. Yeah, now get the first down. You know, that's practice. That's what you go over in your drills every week. Montreal White, part of an experienced receiving core. His fourth catch tonight. Pass left side, caught Bobby Moore inside the 25-yard line. A nice pickup of five on the play for Allen. The clock rolling under five minutes. At some point, you have to start paying attention to time ticking away. Yeah, see, right now the clock is not your friend, and we got a timeout. I think Coach Huggins called a timeout. He wants to stop and talk about this thing for a second. Say, hey, 
And, and, this, and this is a really good time out by Kentucky State because you want your defense is rattled right now. Your defense is a little bit off. You want to kind of compose these guys. You say, hey, they have to score twice to beat us. At least extend this and make it a long time before they score if we can't stop them from scoring. Kentucky State leading Allen 30-21. to 21. The Yellow Jackets needing to find points on this drive with time running then. If you're Kentucky State defensively, you're standing in here trying to stop an Allen offense that's found its stride in the fourth quarter. 14 points scored in the fourth quarter so far. We go back to last season and the matchup between these two teams where it was Kentucky State who came away with a 41-22 victory. But the fourth quarter, well, that was the entire, uh, I guess, your entertainment factor. Mm -hmm. in it. Both teams combining for 30 points in last year's fourth quarter. Obviously, two brand-new teams this year, but still, this SIEC matchup keeping a little bit of that fourth quarter magic along with it. Trip right on second and short. Right escaping, heaves it towards the end zone. Incomplete. Kenny Wilson looked to climb over his receive, over his defensive back to make the grab, but unable to haul it in. We take a second look, see how close this one was. And, and you know what, though? I, I love the play call right there. They realized they had a, a, a slot back, a slot receiver on, that, on your outside linebacker, and he's going to win that matchup 90% of the time. But you need Wright just to float it out there just a little bit further. Bobby Moore in single coverage to the left side. Kentucky State rushes four, and they target Moore just next to the sidelines. That moves the chains. A yet another critical third down conversion. And they got a man down. Now, you know, you never want to wish injury for anyone, but if you're at Allen, you're kind of happy for this injury because now – your coach, you can go in and set up a play. As a matter of fact, if I'm a coach, it's first and 10. I'm putting in two plays right now, four minutes, 27 seconds. The clock is not my friend. So as a coach, I'm putting in two plays. I'm going to call our first down play. I would love to attack the center of the field if I can. If I can attack the center of the field, get a completion, and it's not a first down, have all my guys, we're running to the line. This is two-minute offense. It may be four minutes on the clock, but this is two-minute offense. So we're running in there, and now we're running that second play that I called. Allen coming into this drive was 2 of 10 on third down tonight. This drive alone, 3 of 3. This team is showing a lot of fight. You, you mentioned something back in the first half, Sylvester. You used the word toughness, and we heard that, that word from both coaches this week when we spoke to each of them. And toughness is on display here from Allen in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they, they look like a different team. They, they're kind of looking like the team we saw on that first drive down the field, just a tougher team going down the field. Now, maybe Kentucky State is – they they ex, ex, it, use so much, so much effort on defense that maybe they're a little bit tired now. Some of those big, those big hosses, big hosses down there on the defensive line might be a little tired. But now it's time to suck it up. This is what all this summer running drills are for. This is what fall camp conditioning is for right here. Fourth quarter. First and 10, Allen at the Kentucky State 17-yard line. Clock rolls up onto four minutes. David Wright back to pass. Pressure coming over the middle. Incomplete. Armand Harris. Looking for a flag, and he finds one behind him. Now, this is going to be real interesting because you see the obvious hole. That's a, oh, man, once again, that's a, a old NWA. I'm talking about National Wrestling Alliance. I'm not talking about WWE. This is WWF. This is a long time ago wrestling. Oh, Chief Wahoo McDaniel, Greg the Hammer Valentine, right? The Iron Sheik. It was Jim Crockett days. I'm telling you. Oh, my goodness. Offsetting penalties right there. You know, it kind of got bailed out on that one, that, that holding call. They had a defensive holding call back there in the secondary. So that kind of bailed Allen out. So they'll get to redo this first down. If you're Allen, you're happy about this. They get to redo the down, but they lost over 20 seconds of game clock. Trips right, one to the left from the 18. Allen scored on its first drive from the 18. 
Pass the left side, caught into the end zone goes Bobby Moore. Touchdown, Allen. And it is a single score affair. Bobby Moore with his first career Yellow Jacket touchdown. A high school teammate of the quarterback, David Wright the third, and from Tampa Bay Technical High School to the end zone here at Allen University. The right to more connection pays off for the Yellow Jackets. Now, now they're going for two. This really doesn't make much sense right here going for two. It's, it's no need no need to go for two because if you don't get it, the best you can do, you can tie on a field goal. You need to kick the extra point, but let's see. Right under center, looking to pass. Corner of the end zone, intercepted. That was not smart. Jonathan Adams, Jr., Makes the stop for Kentucky State. And with 4.07 left, it's a three-point game. It, it's no need to go for two on that play. If you go for two, it's still a one-point game. You still need to kick a field goal to, to win. So it, 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 it doesn't make much sense to go for a two. Now you just put an interception on your quarterback. <laughs> with a three-point ball game now, still we're looking at pretty good clock time right now. Mm -hmm. Allen has all three timeouts left, and its defense has played extremely well tonight. Allen defensively has given up just seven points to Kentucky State. The other 23 coming from special teams and a safety play, along with a pick six. So if you're Allen defensively, you have to be confident in how your team's played. Then you're hoping to get the ball back, how well the offense is moving. And, and that's, the th that's the thing. I would love, I would love to see them, and see right now Kentucky State has all of their, all of their kickoff team. They're pulled up. They're anticipating that onside kick. But here's the thing: if you're Allen right now, a nice high sideline, what we call high sideline. If you can get your kicker to kick it up high in the air and let it bounce around the 30, that should give your team enough time to get down there and try to get it. I think an on-size kick is not really necessary right now. Let's see what they're going to do. That looks like they're, they got enough people on this side, man. I think. But Jang the boot. Short hopper. Can Allen race to the football? Kentucky State makes the grab. That's Trey Blackman Jr. hauling in the catch for Kentucky State. So now four minutes away. A three-point ball game. Allen defensively playing strong throughout tonight, but Kentucky State's offense has shown flashes at times. Can they recreate some of the magic they found in the third quarter? And, you know, and, and what you need out of Kentucky State right now, I know you're tempted to probably run the ball, but I would love to see Perez come out with two quick, short passes. You know, Throw that inside slant to your inside receiver or maybe throw a five-yard out or maybe throw a flare route to your running back. Just something to get a completion for your quarterback so you can get some faith in back into your offense. Just a positive feeling for your offense. First and 10 at their own 26. Kentucky State tight formation. will hand it off up the gut. And Allen not fooled at all. Playing with high intensity on the defensive side. Fishback picks up only a yard. They had seven men with inside right there. They had the four, the four down linemen and the three linebackers all playing inside the tackle box. You cannot, you have to be able to audible out of that play. You just cannot run that play and expect to get anything when you're just totally outnumbered. Live sports, thousands of live events, ESPN Plus Originals, the exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library, exclusive access, and the biggest names in the game, ESPN Plus, live sports, thousands of live events. ESPN Plus Originals, the exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library, 
exclusive access, top leagues and tournaments, and the biggest names in the game. ESPN Plus. Live sports. Thousands of live events. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive access. Top leagues and tournaments. And the biggest names in the game. ESPN Plus. Live sports. Thousands of live events. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive access. Top leagues and tournaments. And the biggest names in the game. ESPN Plus. Live sports. Thousands of live events. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive access. Top leagues and tournaments. And the biggest names in the game. ESPN Plus. Live sports. Thousands of live events. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive access. Top leagues and tournaments. And the biggest names in the game. ESPN Plus. Live sports. Thousands of live events. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive access. Top leagues and tournaments. And the biggest names in the game. ESPN Plus. Live sports. Thousands of live events. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive access. Top leagues and tournaments. And the biggest names in the game. ESPN Plus. Live sports. Thousands of live events. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive access. Top leagues and tournaments. And the biggest names in the game. ESPN Plus. Live sports. Thousands of live events. ESPN Plus Originals. Wright has to evade pressure. He's got room to run. David Wright slides across the 45 into Kentucky State territory. That moves the sticks. David Wright, great decision making at times tonight. David Wright has not had that decision making on point, but penalty flag will bring the play back. But David Wright really stepping up his game here in the fourth. Without a momentum killer just to bring back the huge game with a hold. And I'm trying to figure out who did the hold. But here's the thing. When you hold, technically, there's nothing wrong with holding if the ref doesn't see you. But you can't do it while the ref's looking at you. <laughs> now first and 20, Allen's hopes of finding the opposite end of the field before time expired just got a lot tougher. Two and a half to play and 72 yards to go. Right. Looking over the middle, has Armand Harris at the 40. Pickup of 12 on the play. Clock continues to roll. Remember, clock will not stop for first downs until under the two-minute mark. And Allen only has one timeout. Is enough time left for the Yellow Jackets? Trailing by three points. Coming up on the two-minute warning. 
Wright holds in the high snap. Pressure coming over the middle. He's got Harris once again. I love Amon Harris, Amon Harris as a receiver. Oh, and you got a man down. Now, he, now this is bad for Allen. You have a man hurt, but here's the problem. It should be a 10-second runoff because that is one of your players who's hurt opposed to one of our Kentucky State players. If this young man has a cramp, see, here's, here's the thing about situational awareness as a team. If you're hurt, you know it's the two-minute drill. It's your job just to roll your behind off the field. It's, do whatever it takes just to get off the field so you don't hurt your team. Because what's going to happen, they're going to have, I think it's a 10-second runoff, I think. If, if, if you have a man that's hurt under, ten, under two minutes, I think it's a 10-second runoff. That's Bobby Moore setting up. And, and it's just a, it's a cramp. Now, I say just a cramp. Now, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, I've never given birth to a child. <laughs> but I've heard. Where is this going? <laughs> I've heard that, that giving birth to a child may be painful. I know that a cramp is painful. It's a different level of pain. Oh, my goodness. I'm sure dropping a cement block on your foot hurts, too. <laughs> a lot of painful things. First and 10 at the 49, right back to pass. Hit as he throws, left sideline. Got a man. That's Wilson inside the 15. Two Tampa kids. Connect in crunch time for Allen. The Yellow Jackets are in the red zone. And you have to love what David Wright did. David Wright stood in the pocket. He stood and delivered. He had all type of heat coming down his neck, and he stood in there and delivered a strike. Look at the pressure coming. Look at everybody coming. They're hitting him from all angles. Somebody hit him down low. Somebody hit him up high, and he still managed to deliver a strike. A 35-yard delivery to Wilson. From the 14-yard line inside the red zone. Pressure coming from the right side. Wright has a man wide open. Harris caught at the five, then brought down. He should have tucked that. He should have kept that one. He waited too long. He, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. A man is down. That, now. That's Amani Spinks who just made the tackle. With a minute 28 to play, Allen is inside at the four-yard line. Now here, if you're Allen, this is a great deal for you right here. You, and once again, man, you don't want anybody to get hurt. But let's just be honest. If it's somebody on the other team, you're not quite as upset if it's somebody on your team. Now, as a coach, as a coach, a minute and 28 seconds left, first and goal. You can put in two plays right now. You can put in two plays. Everybody's expecting you to throw the ball in the end zone. Why not sneak in that inside handoff? Tell your offensive line, man up. Let's man up. Let's go for it. Let's drive off the ball and block, and let's see if we can get four yards and get in the end zone. If they don't get in the end zone, have your second play ready. Have play number two ready so everybody knows what the second play is, and then let's try to get in the end zone. Sylvester, if you're Teddy Keaton right now, how do you keep your offense's emotions in check and try not to get too high in a moment like this? Well, this is what you work on outside of the game. You work on this during practice all week, staying in check, keeping your emotions down. You cannot let your emotions get the best of you. One thing you do not want, oh, my goodness, you don't want a silly personal foul, some extra jaw jacking down on the line. Compose yourself. Keep your composure and drive straight forward. First and goal, Allen, from the four-yard line. The Yellow Jackets have scored three touchdowns here in the fourth quarter. 20 unanswered points looking to lead the game-winning drive. They've traveled 68 yards, needing four more to score. Right, hand off Harrington to spin his way across the three. Now let's see if they have the second play. They should have the second play ready right now. Everybody should know the play. You shouldn't even be looking at the sideline. The play should already be in. You should already know what you're running. No gain on the play. It's second and goal from the four. 55 seconds now. 
one, of course, can kick the field goal to tie. But if I know Teddy Keaton, I think he's going for the win. Trips left, one receiver right. David Wright looking in the end zone, has time over the middle. It's caught. Touchdown, Montreal White. And Allen takes the lead. 38 seconds left. Huge, huge play. You have to love your all-star, all-world quarterback right here. Look at the patience. Looking, looking, nothing's there. And finding a man cutting across the end zone. What a pass. What a catch. Great play by the Allen offense. The Yellow Jackets were 72 yards away from glory on the game-winning drive in hopes of taking the lead for the final time tonight. David Wright, time after time, tried to drive this team down the field, but it took to the fourth quarter for the offense to click, and it's now 27 unanswered points for the Yellow Jackets. Now, I want you to watch this. This kickoff is huge. Now, if you th think about it, in the first half, every time out and kicked off. It was a huge return, a huge return for the thoroughbreds. Now, if I'm Allen, right now, I'm lining the ball straight up on the tee. I'm telling my kicker to kick it as hard as he can, as low as he can on the ground, and let the ball bounce as much as it can, okay? Let it bounce. Do not give those returners a chance to catch it in the air and make something special happen for you. Now in special teams, everybody has to be all in. You have to be all in, single mindset, get to that returner and do not give up anything big on the return. Montrell White, the senior receiver who grew up just down the road in Sumter, South Carolina, bought into this program just as it was getting its restart. He spent four years in the blue and gold, and it has paid off in a big-time way. Montrell White hauling in what could be the game-winning touchdown. But Allen, leading 34-30, to has 38 seconds left to play. Deep kick from Bajang, caught by Trey Blackman, Jr. Blackman across the 20. He's tripped up there. Sylvester, if you look around the sidelines and in the bleachers on Allen's side of the football stadium, not too many people are sitting. It seems like everyone's <laughs> clapping, cheering on pom-poms, dancing. Morale really boosted for the home squad. I'm telling you, man, this is the atmosphere that they wanted. Five years ago when they restarted this program, they knew. You know, Allen had a rich tradition of football in the 60s. In the 60s and earlier, football was big for Allen University or Allen College back then. It was huge. Now they want to bring that feeling back to Columbia. They're ready to kick the butts of their rivals across the street. And this is how it starts. It starts with his fan support and you giving the fans something to support. Allen trying to start 2-0 for the first time since restarting their program five years ago. Christian Perez, deep ball caught across midfield. That's Jaden Hale reeling in the longest passing completion of the night. Clock stops at 26 seconds. And you can't give that up. Anything you can't give up, you can't give that one up. Whistles blow, timeout, now, and they'll use that final timeout here. Now, I'm not sure about that. I understand Coach Cole, he called that timeout. He wants to kind of regroup his team, regroup his defense, and get his defense set and get his defense comfortable. Me, on the other hand, I'm not calling that timeout. You know, I keep saying they're kids, but let's be honest, they're grown men. They're grown men. I've coached you all week. I've taught you all week how to play. I cannot baby you right now. You got to go out there and you got to be a man. You got to be a man. I don't think I would have called that timeout. But once again, I'm in the booth. I'm retired from coaching. It's easy for me now up top. I don't have to get on the sideline. I don't have to deal with the booster club. I don't have to deal with the AD and the, and, and, and the uh, school president anymore. Well, with 20 seconds left, Allen right now has to deal with that man, Christian Perez, trying to say Kentucky State's not done. Trailing by four points, it's first and 10, Kentucky State at the Allen 47. Pocket collapses, Perez escapes and will keep it himself, runs across the 40 
Steps out around the 35. Clock stops at 13 seconds now. So Perez able to pick up 12 yards, but he loses about 20 seconds. If you look at him, he looked back trying to find where that first down marker was before he got out of bounds. Heady play, good, heady, high football IQ play of knowing where that first down marker was before he got out of bounds. 13 seconds to play, Kentucky State trailing by four. They're 35 yards away from the end zone. Five receivers set, three to the left, two to the right. Perez, right side, caught. A quick pass to Markel Cotton as he steps out of the 25. Now eight seconds remaining. A play, maybe two here, Sylvester, but with time so thin, do you take a quick shot to the end zone? You got to take a quick shot to the end zone real fast. I want you to look out. They have a tall 6'5 receiver, a transfer from Eastern Kentucky. Kiki, I want you to look out for this young man. Kiki McFadden, far receiver to the left side. Trips left, two to the right. Three down linemen for Allen, eight seconds to play. Perez, quick strike at the 15. It's Cotton again. Uh -oh. Pass caught, five seconds, 15 yards to go. I like the play. I like the play. Run the out route on the outside. I love it. Now you got to get it in the end zone. You got to get it in the end zone. Well, everyone who bought a ticket to this game wanted 60 minutes of football. They're going to get a full <laughs> 60 minutes tonight. I tell you, everybody's got what they're paid for tonight. <laughs> it is worth the price of admission tonight. Kentucky State at the 15-yard line. Trailing by four points. One receiver to the right. That's Cotton. Trips left. Final play of the game. Perez to the end zone. It's picked <laughs> off. Allen wins it. <laughs> what a play. <laughs> what a play. What a game. 26 unanswered points for the Yellow Jackets. It's mayhem in Columbia. Allen storms back in this one, scoring four touchdowns in the fourth quarter. The Yellow Jackets start 2-0 for the first time in program history. Ray J. Anderson, and guess where that young man is from? Tampa, Tampa Florida. Florida. <laughs> the kids from Tampa showed up tonight. What a game. My goodness, are you not entertained? Man, you got your money's worth tonight. Final score, Allen 34, Kentucky State 30. We'll send it down for a great Great night and a great performance from David Wright III, how he rallied for Allen. Struggled in the first half, but David Wright battled his team back, willing them to victory. David Wright, a Tampa guy, he was leading the offense for Allen, and then in crunch time on the final play, his former high school teammate, Rajay Anderson from Tampa Bay Technical High School, makes the game winning play for Allen an interception on the front side of the end zone to seal the deal. Allen improves to 2 and 0. Kentucky State will fall to 1 and 2 on the season including 0 and 2 in SIAC play. Boy, what an incredible night. So what an incredible night. And, and, and you know, this fourth quarter, that's the offensive explosion that I was looking for that I thought that Allen University was capable of having. That's the offense that I thought they were capable of having. But I don't know what happened to them. On that first drive, on that first drive, I thought this was the Allen University team that we were looking for, and then they just stagnated. They got real dull, real stagnated, couldn't do anything, and then something happened in the fourth quarter. Something happened in the fourth quarter, and they stepped up, stepped up huge. Well, that something was David Wright the third, and how well he played for Allen. The redshirt sophomore quarterback wheeled his team to the victory, and he is now joined by Simone Stanley down the field. Simone? David, your offense scored 27 unanswered points to get the win tonight. How are you and the team feeling? We're feeling great. We just started off slow, but we, had to, we made adjustments at halftime, and we stuck to it. What changed for the offense at the half? Because it was very stagnant in the first quarter, but you guys came out explosive after the half. We just start, we just start executing, executing. We wasn't executing in the first half, and the second half we started executing and getting big plays. How did the team stay poised on that final drive where you knew that you had to come away with a touchdown? 
because we do this in practice every week. We know we was going to go down and score. That's what we did. Absolutely. Congrats. Thank you. Thanks a moment. And that's David right now, the third. Well, Sylvester, what a night it was. That's the only way you can uh, summarize it. Your final score, Allen defeats Kentucky State 34-30. Allen at one point trailing.